I did not yell. Oh. I did give a few. What the hell are you doing? I did uh. give a few. Of them. So we know you a busy man, Kobe. So we gonna jump <laughs> right to it. Man. I'm gonna say Zion. Yeah. Doing a swing. I'm sick and sick with it, vision and lift it, listen just picture it, spit and deliver it, the time froze, undercurrent, how the grind flows, wrist flicking, said the bezels got a mind blow, you know how the drought be, everything slow, you know how the drought be, said anything goes, pull up to the spot, you might see the squad there, pull up and announce, then you might see the drop, yeah, it's just seconds remaining, and I got the rock, for the wind while you're watching the shot clock it's just seconds remaining and i got the rock for the wind thanks for watching the shot clock the shot clock you catch the shot clock every sunday from 7 p.m to 9 p.m Never get that million dollars. Hey, what's going down, man? What's good? What's the word, man? Rail coming through in the background. What's going on? Hey, what's Hell, up, real man. man. It's my guy. I'm in here. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> hey, we like to welcome everybody back to Shot Thirty Clock, Jenny Hoop Scout. We got the plugs of all plugs, the McDonald All American plug, your plug, my plug. He's everybody's plug, man. The baller plug, like like the Ohio State University. The baller plug, man. Hi guys. Not not just the baller plug, man. We also have the Doug Jones, man. The one and not only. Make sure y'all get registered for that Doug's Dozen Classic. Absolutely. Uh, do that immediately. Immediately. And we got Rob C, who was in the gym this weekend, man. What's so. up? What's going on, man? <laughs> and I'm chilling, man. Everybody, everybody <laughs> bring energy <laughs> Everybody bring energy here. Hey man, what's going on, man? <laughs> he's like he like the dude in boys to men that didn't sing and just get on there and talk with a deep voice. <laughs> deep voice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, man, we got a lot of good topics for y'all today. Um it's championship Monday. Um before we, you know, get grooving, man. Who who y'all got, man? I think you kind of gonna repeat. I originally had you of H. Um, but I think you kind of gonna repeat. It. I think it's gonna be a good matchup. Um, Edie's a is a is a problem, but I just think you kind the familiarity, man. They they gonna take this thing. Yeah, I'm rolling with UConn, man. Them dudes good, bro. Like they can be two different types of ways. Like you want to play a high scoring game, we can do that. You want to grind it out, score in the sixties, we can do that too. And I don't think people realize like how big they are. No Diddy. How big they are. No Diddy. No Diddy. I got to get a I no got... Diddy uh, <laughs> thing on here, man. Yeah, but now I got UConn. I think it's going to be a good game for a while, though. Uh, I'm just interested in, in what Stefan Castle does. Seeing him come from Wooden Camp all the way to UConn, you know, to going to go get two rings to increasing his draft stock. I'm more I'm I'm more interested in that. And then going to see Oh I don't know why my phone is going off like it's it's locked but it's making noise and it's get the hell out of me. So but yeah anyway that's, that's the eclipse <laughs> Rob, hey, who you got? Um, Are you okay? I mean, I think I think UConn because they got uh, somebody that can match up with Edie. Because uh, what's the name? Clean, Clean, Callington, Clean. 
He like one of the best defensive bigs in the last five to seven years in college. Um, so Zach Eady not just gonna be able to push him around. Um, Tristan Newton probably gonna be able to uh, neutralize uh, Braden Smith um, and then Stephon Castle too. So I don't think Lance Jones gonna be a big factor this game either. So I just think UConn coaching and like you said, familiarity and the fact that they got a person that they can match up with Edie that they don't have to send help. I think that's that's gonna be the determining factor. All right, man. Hey, man, we got a special guest today, man. We're gonna let some shots off from my guy, man, <laughs> oh. Coach Oz Davis. What's going on, Coach Oz? Man, what's good? He muted. Gotta be muted. Oz, we cannot hear you, brother. He said one okay. second. All right. <laughs> Mic check, mic check, mic check. Oh, yeah, Come on now. Come on now. What's going on, fellas? What's going on, fellas? What's up, bro? What's okay. going on, man? It's my guy, Coach Oz, man. Hey, I appreciate y'all for having me on, bro. Hey, y'all, y'all doing y'all doing great things for the city, man. I, first and foremost, I want hey, I appreciate y'all, man. Hey, all y'all get all y'all flowers, man. For me. Oh uh, man, I'll be watching your show too, man. Y'all be, yeah, hey, I do. you know, I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna plug myself, but I showed you. Yeah, you and my guy Randy, man. Y'all be, yeah, y'all be sir, breakdown live, bros man. on YouTube, man. Breakdown bros, we breaking down everything from basketball to music to anything we see on YouTube and find interesting. We just get on there and talk about it. So y'all check us out, man. For sure. Yes, sir, man. Hey, before we move any further, man, just I gotta. Put my cup up one time. Gotta get my pinky right. You know what I'm talking about, man? Oh my god! It's my G day juice, man. G day <laughs> juice is crazy. G day juice. Hey, before we continue on, man, this is this show is not sponsored by Bucky's by any means. But when y'all go to Bucky's, like road trips, what is the go to? What what do you stop and grab? This they gummy bear. This is my thing. What do y'all stop and grab from Bucky's every time? It's like Ooh, a no brainer. Oh. Hey, That's everybody cool. in the rap just give that brisket sandwich, dog. Boy, boy, like, that brisket sandwich gonna go live. Hey, Never. I'm gonna tell you what else is good, bro. Try that chicken club sandwich with the bacon on that joint. With the Asiago sauce, oh. bro. Yes, <laughs> on the ciabatta mm. bread. Oh. Yes. Who yeah. knew they stole that at fucking Bucky's? <laughs> oh, oh. Like, hold on. Y'all yeah, over here on the couch out here talking about yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Doug, he's hey, sleep, Doug, he sleep, hey, he sleep, he sleep, he sleep, he sleep, he sleep, he sleep, man, let him stay asleep, yes. more for us. What part of the hidden buggies <laughs> menu is that on? It's on the it's end, on the you, you ain't walked that far yet, it's all the way at the end, you ain't going that far, you stop Yo, at the brisket right. sandwiches, you, you cook. know what, y'all a little bougie for my blood, Ozzyago is not meant to be eaten. On, 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 on Tabata, don't forget that. <laughs> on Tabata, fire. 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 Crazy. You know what? You know what? I, I didn't like, even know that sandwich was there. I ain't going to lie. Bro. You said yeah, you stopped at the brisket you sandwich. You stopped at the brisket. That's why you got to go to the left. You got to keep walking, bro. You got to keep going. <laughs> Yeah, go to the left. If the brisket is good enough, why you keep walking? Because I just want to see if the brisket is good, what else they got? <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> About two summers ago, boys messed around and got in the in the team van with the glizzy on the stick. <laughs> it was two hours of jokes. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. I had a kid in my car with a glizzy on the stick too. Got on it. Little tortilla wrapped around. Yeah. <laughs> No diddy. <laughs> no diddy. No diddy. No diddy, man. Come on. Hey, hey, where's King when you need him? No diddy. <laughs> hey, Marco. Marco was out there coach this weekend. Hey, Marco, <laughs> so in the mug on the bench, bro. Marco, like a 40 year old season bit on the bench, bro. Like, he, he, he be hey, synchronized with Jason too. Like, no, that's not it. It, 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 it was fr it's fresh out of high school two years fresh ago. Fresh out of like, high been school, coaching. bro. Man, they ain't three yet. He out here on the coaching spec. Nah, shout out to Marco, man. Now, the barbecue sandwich is a must every time. I okay. might get something different, but I'm getting that every time we stop at Boogie's. I got to get the chop, the chop barbecue sandwich. 
So do y'all uh-huh. ever go for like breakfast time or? Uh, now nah, breakfast they bre- uh, I don't like the eggs on their breakfast uh like uh on the burritos like, on nothing honestly mm. because it's like they water they be like watery it's like water eggs it's like the powder yeah. eggs that you get at the oh, hotels yeah, just, in the morning mm. that's what that's what it tastes like <laughs> Kalachis are good though mm, I ain't never had one of them. I ain't never they had cookies them. good too cinnamon they rolls fire good. too cinnamon rolls yeah, fire cinnamon too, fire too yeah. It ain't but, bad about but, Bucky's. Bucky's cornered the market, bro. Like, even they fountain drinks taste different. It's this different. <laughs> it do. It's different, dog. Like, it do, man. But I, I know you can buy a wardrobe over there, too. Yeah, what y'all, uh, what y'all stop was, man. Um, Man, we got a lot of lot of things, man. Parents want it more, man. Uh, we are Ooh. seeing it. We are seeing it, like, I have a great theory. Like we've never seen it before. Like this is it's on a different level. Bro, like, what's going yeah. on, Paul? Shout out to my guy man, Paul, Paul Miranda man, in the no, building. No. I got to see him, man. You know, I did I did my little bow to Paul, man. Hey, no, shout Paul out to my guy Miranda, Free Paul Miranda, man. Free uh, Paul Miranda, man. Yeah, yeah, my guy, man. Right. It wasn't that was a this off topic. That was the only thing that was missing from you here. State. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. In the words of Doug Jones, absolutely. <laughs> it wasn't enough shit talking on media. Oh, it wasn't, though. Yeah, he got to be wasn't. there, man. That's my guy. He was in the gym. He was working, minding his own business. He wasn't bothering nobody. Uh, just, he was doing his thing, man. Shout out to Paul, man. Marco say Bucky's got cinnamon rolls. Boy, you ain't. Bro, you. you didn't. Hey, hey uh, he ain't walked far enough. <laughs> He's stopping at the brisket every time, but see, yeah. hey, look, get away from the got cinnamon rolls, rolls Mark go, I never had them. We we know about the sweets. I was just talking about the food. Well, like, Mark, you gotta go over there with that homemade go beef jerky. Left, dog. You gotta go over there with that homemade beef jerky at where you gotta grab a ticket at where it looks like yeah. a meat market. Yeah. You gotta go over there. Yeah. Parents. Yeah. Mm. Y'all put me on game, man. Yeah, don't just stop it. Don't hey, I'm walk in. I don't know where I'm going. Go get my gummy bears. <laughs> Them sour belts be hitting for me. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> don't just stop at the brisket, man. I like it's a bunch. Like, we can talk about Bucky's all day, bro. Like Bucky's, Bucky's is a is a just an all around store that just so happens to sell gas on the side. Yeah. <laughs> oh, by the way, we got gas. Yeah, just like on your way out, if you want to stop and get gas, it's there. Like. They don't never even have the gas prices advertised. <laughs> never. Like care. they don't they don't put the numbers up or nothing. You like fuck it, we gonna get gas here. Yeah. Going for no gas. <coughs> might, might as well just get gas just because it's here. Hey, hey Paul, Paul, so Paul Paul is, 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 is making a good point about never that. Never that. Chad said take you off the t- Chad where said take you off Chad. the show, man. Oh, <laughs> haters man. already. Five, 13 oh, minutes like into the show. You already 13 got 13 minutes into the hey, show. It'd be like that. It'd be like that. It's the reason why they're there and I'm here though. We're good. We're good. That's, that's, that, I, I, I love that energy right there. That's what that <laughs> hey, 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 for the you one time. Coach Bird, you need me, man. I got hey, you. Man. Shout out Coach Bird, man. I'm probably with Coach Bird, man. That's my Coach guy. Yeah, that's my man. guy, man. Shout out to my guy, Coach D, man. Coach McKinney back home, man. He be getting it done. I've tried to move him down here. I had my guy had a whip for him. My guy's right here on the he on the screen, Coach D. In the middle. The baller plug. Right here. We're gonna I'm gonna solo him for you. So whenever you whenever you see him anywhere nationally, this is the that's the dude. I had a whip for you. We had it all set up for you. Whenever you're ready to make that move, I already know. We, you know what time it is. I know what time it is, man. That's my guy, Coach D, man. Um, he yeah, does Mark. a job. He take kids who don't be ranked, don't nobody know about, get some better. They bust people head. Kids go off and they do phenomenal um, throughout high school and, and head on into college, man. Um, it's just And those coaches like that is rare to find. Um, sure. If right. I down here, get them away from Central Illinois. Um, um, they 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 just don't know what type of a gym that they truly have, man. Amen. 
a lot of these a lot of these older coaches on the way out is some good job so and it's a ah man <laughs> what's what's <laughs> going on coach Stewart man I see y'all dropped one this week that shocked Stewart, me. Houston Apex Houston Apex they got a squad bro they are they tough man um but yeah parents is wanting it more and they showing no. it um more than the kids are that's crazy bro like I thought it was no. just a Houston thing until mm. we went up to Dallas this weekend. Mm-mm. And I'm talking about teams from Virginia. I seen a team from San Diego. Parent tripping. Um, hey, like, what what's going? What's what's really good, y'all? What's going on? Why why is this? Why bro, is the it li- this way? living vicariously through their kids, bro? That's that's how that's how it is. Like, I I wouldn't. I, I'm not gonna say that, but like, I wanted. I want my kid to be right here more than he do. Like yesterday at the game, bro. Like the defenders and the, not the defenders, blue chips and uh who that was blue chips and superstars. superstars yeah. Oh, that's an elite pairing group right there, both sides. <laughs> I'm a good wow. that's, that's exhibit A, but I got another one that me and Rob was sitting uh <laughs> bro. So yesterday, superstars, blue chips, kid missed the free throw. Parent of a kid that's on the same team completely loses his mind. Like, throws the entire fit. I'm like, bro, come on. Dog. I'm like, bro, you are too invested in this, dog. So, Maybe. oh, two potential. Bro, it was crazy. And then we got one parent on the bench talking about that's how people get shot. Uh, oh, man, he was bro, man, He, he was out of pocket, bro. Bro, we had to turn into we, me and Doug turned into uh gas social security, bro. Like he, <coughs> bro, bro, he, bro, he, he, bro, it was crazy. Like he said, kids, like, kids like, handled it on the floor. The refs did a good job of separating and calming everybody down. He just on. That's how people get shot. That's how people get shot. And the kids they was talking to, parents bought that life. <laughs> It's the wrong one. They are about that life. And so they start converging on the dude. I'm like, yo, chill. Bag up, bro. See, Doug, bro. you go that way and talk to him. I'm going yeah, to go that way and talk to him. Yeah, me talking to the gas security, bro. It was crazy. Uh, that's it, crazy. It, it, was, it was wild this weekend, uh It was wild over there. Over a round ball, bro. Over a round ball, dog. And I ain't even talking about another game where parents started talking about we control the narrative. We, you know what I'm talking about, Rob. <laughs> yes, I do. Yes, I do. Bro, it was just insane, <laughs> dog. PGW. In the words of Wizard Kelly, it all started with an orange basketball. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, now nah, parents are definitely invested for sure. Nah, it'd be like that, like everywhere like everywhere that i've everywhere that i've been it's this it's, it's the parents wanting it more than kids and what i'm starting to see more often is that i'm starting to realize that parents grew up in a different time than these kids is is coming up in so of course dynamics is different you know what i'm saying um for for these kids their information processing skills is much lower than ours were as you know as as older people Cause we didn't have a phone in our face 24 7. we had to imp- we had to process real life information we could see a fight five steps before it before it happened right. like these kids today they'll get hit in the street because they in their phone like that's how much of the information process and how much lack of thereof that we're dealing with so when you get a parent that didn't come up with a phone we didn't have a computer we didn't have none of this stuff we had to get out and socialize and do all of this other stuff Hey, and wait, hold on. Kid coach, to do the same thing, it's tough. Coach Oz, how old are you? I'm 33. Man, you had all of that. Hold I did. <coughs> I, did. I grew up with a dial up. I, I, hey, hold we on, get up. Hey, we, on, we could on. not we use like, like these kids. I already think we owe the dirt and don't now. Nah, nah. <coughs> like, I, I'm not disagreeing with you. I agree with everything you said. I don't know. I'm old. We ain't got no phone. The only phone like, we had was the and no kid joint with snake on it. You can use the phone and the computer at the same had, time. We had the pagers, you know, technology. We had what technology provided at the time, right? The phone is just what's the time now. 
it'll be something else. Ten. Bro, 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 it's a, a, it's a stage, though. What the hell with you, Jay? Jay? It's, a, oh. it's a stage, though. Like our pages, we it wasn't no stage. You couldn't get crossed on your page and everybody see it. You couldn't look at your, no girls on your page. Are you Blackberry? You couldn't look at you couldn't look <laughs> yeah, at but, them, but the, we all know you like you from Houston. You born and raised in Houston. What? Like going to Shortstown Mall and going to go get that N1 mixtape. What? I don't know. It was the equivalent. Yeah, I remember popping some Iversons and catching that N1 mixtape. <laughs> and like, oh, them boys ain't got it in that neighborhood. <laughs> true. Like, true. Very true. Yeah, but you ain't gonna but see it. Yeah, everything is everything is in this moment though. It's like, right yeah, now. It's yeah, happening it's right now. Right now. I yeah, yeah, it's gonna be up before the game over. The so. It's gonna be up before the game over. Yeah, Bro, sure. <laughs> when 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 Jamal Creighton dunked on that dude, dog, it was on Twitter before we left uh MI3 yesterday. Yeah. Well, that's Gasso job. That's I mean, <laughs> that's their job. They they it supposed was, to tweet live. Like so it was it was like that's what their was. brand does, right? And if that was the only highlight, when I saw it, I said to myself, Jesus. Bro. And it wasn't a charge. It was such a bad it call. It definitely wasn't a charge. Wait, they called the charge live? Yeah, they definitely oh, called the man. charge. They called the charge. I kind of said to myself, I don't know he said, but I said, but you got to reward the dunk. Bro, if they anything, it was a block or a no call, but it definitely wasn't a charge. Because I I'm jumped glad, on I'm the floor. Clip out there, cause like, come on, bro. Like, hey, it, the the clip don't even. I ain't gonna hold you. The clip don't yeah, even know where he justice. took off from. Where he took yeah. off from was dumb crazy. And you like hey. he finna duck, and he ducked off. You want to know what's he crazy? Hard. <laughs> I told Braylon last year before Cougar camp. I say, what people really don't realize is Jamal got got a lot of bounce that he just do not care to show. And then Braylon brought it up the other day, like right after the game. He was like, "Yeah, I saw Jamal the other day. Can't realize he he that bouncy and just don't use it." Bro, and he's grown he, too. He likes six seven dogs. And then he goes and dunks like I, yeah, he likes. I do not, bro. Like we was just talking about that. Happy for Jamal when it yeah, got he him. He like six seven dog. Like I, I looked at him. Like, Big game, game hunting, bro. Boy. Yeah, that was nasty. It was nasty. It stopped me for a conversation. I, was, <laughs> I jumped up. I, I jumped on the court. I, I had to look around. Hey, 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 that changed that change your, your recruiting dynamic right man. there. Bro. My boy, my boy Elijah Gary got one this weekend too. Ah, oh, he did. Saw that. Off yeah, two. Yeah. 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 I say, man, you got to only say, I don't even know what happened. I was like, damn, you black thought? <laughs> Dang, me there. <laughs> Bro, he said, I don't know what happened. Yeah. I was like, damn, okay. okay. Nah, nah, but some, of these, some, of these, some parents are cool with some. some yeah, it's like some, some parents are realistic, bro. Like, but they, it's not they, many, they, though. They being parents. I don't even mind you being obnoxious and annoying, but sometimes read the room. Like, like don't be obnoxious and annoying and you only got two. Like, it's cool to be obnoxious and annoying and, and annoying if your, your child got 15 and seven. I'm cool with that. Talk your shit. I'm going to flash the camera. But now, if you got two, shut the fuck up. Like... <laughs> Like, just, like, understand, like, it's not your game. It's okay. Like, it, it's a, like, I think we got to stop. Like, bro, we play how many games a weekend? How many games a month? Ooh, like, three, stop. Four, five, That's a big, like, everything is just a microcosm. But, like, I, you know. You, you know what I don't like about parents, though, is, like, when you try to dump – down a kid to up your son, like I can't stand that, bro. Like, don't diss him, don't shit on him just to try to up your kid, bro. Like, I don't like that. That was one of my two takeaways, uh, Doug. Is one that parents think because since my son is on the floor with thus said this player that yeah. he's equal, and it's not that's not that's, that's not the case at all. You just yeah. happen to be on a team who was able to get that matchup. Exactly. That does not make them equal players. And then secondly, I think a lot of parents, especially when it come down to that 16 and 17 you, 
we I've invested thousands of dollars for the past I don't know how long since she was a nine you. I'm spending five to ten thousand dollars every summer on you, and you ain't doing nothing. And so I'm yeah. I'm mad because I'm I'm still investing the money. Yeah, and hey, I'm man, not so, gonna get so, retired. So I don't have I don't have kids. So at what point do you be like, I'm not doing this anymore? Like I get it, you know, your kid want to do it or whatever. It's, whatever. it's some people that don't. Man, I just seen somebody put in one of our group chats the tra- that they son a red shirt sophomore and he going in the transfer portal. And this dude been tripping since he was in high school. Hey, hey y'all know who I'm talking about. This dude been tripping since he was in school. Some people they never, they never. He said did. my average was a field goal percentage. Oh, in I high saw school, that. Yeah. in high school two years ago, you a red shirt soft, you a walk on red shirt soft. <laughs> walk on like, that, bro. Oh, bro. A while prep, on it, bro. prep year. Yeah, he prep did prep year. year. Yeah, I'm sorry. Prep, prep year. Prep year. Yeah. Prep year right. average. Averages from the field, not even not even points as a prep. Bro, you got That's people posting practice film, bro. Like nobody's trying to see that. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, bro, you, you ain't know that? Oh, you didn't I ain't that? never seen no practice bro. footage. Oh, bro, yeah. they like I'm in the oh, yeah, they'll submit it. my practice. They submitted to coaches. Yeah, here's my the practice transfer field. The transfer you know why? You know why you didn't they see it? They, they, they added. They added fourteen of us in the same. <laughs> when, oh, you didn't see because they added hey, all of them. That's another thing I want to say too about about. And I was talking to Quito about this too. Uh, because uh, one of these parents got their son cooked on Saturday too. They son, they son got twenty two. What twenty two in the second half? 22, 24. Oh, yes. The same dude that yes. was talking about some, this is how the gym get shot up. He was talking noise to a kid that played for our colony, not, not the kid, one everybody thinking of. That kid and, turned up. And that kid turned up and gave his son, who was guarding him, 22 in the second half. And, and went for feet. And went for 11 straight. 11, like 11 straight. straight. Ooh, and ooh, the dude ooh, ooh. was steady talk. But this is what I, I was saying that to say, like, parents. Y'all got to realize y'all talking to people, kids on the sideline. So the dude tried to talk like, yeah, my son locking you up. Boo, boo, boo. So when the kid got the cooking, the kid talking back to him, right? Kid like, I'm busting your son ass, Paul. He can't do nothing with me. Now the dude want, want the kid to be quiet. Now he talking about, I'm an adult. So hey, the kid dad was like, the kid who was killing daddy yelled out, hey, don't say nothing else to him. Shut up. Shut up talking to him. And the kids shut up. But y'all parents got to understand, like, if y'all start talking to a kid first and the kid say something back to you, you can't then revert to, oh, you can't say that to me. I'm, I'm an adult. adult. I'm an adult. Well, shut your adult ass up and watch the game. So, throwing, his, throwing rocks and hiding hands. And hiding your hands. Hey, he was real quiet, though, because that oh, yeah. 30. Thirty-two on his son. That boy gave it to him. However, from the three-point line, yeah, mid-range, that's, that's, crossed him over, laid it up. That's, that's why I was like, man, he poked the bad. That, that was the wrong. Like the that was the wrong was thing. Yeah, he, he was. was he was chilling, and man. then boy, that's my type of carrying. <clears throat> you know. Oh yeah, no, he made that dude <laughs> shit up. You know, you know that's yeah. my type of carrying on, guys. Yeah, no, no. It was some, yeah. But now, nah, parents, I don't know. Just parents gonna be parents, bro. We all deal with them. We all talk to them. We all know some good ones, and we know a lot of bad ones. When you see them coming, you be like, "Oh Lord!" <laughs> and you gotta watch what you say around. Because you don't know who these people parents are. You could be talking reckless. About a kid, man. That kid sorry, man. That kid parents, the grandmother can be right there. Now we got a yep. whole nother issue, man. Yep. Uh, the kid, Paul, the kid. Uh, oh, we're are not. You... Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's go. Oh, yeah, let's rewind. Are we not allowed to say a kid is sorry? Like, have we gotten <laughs> have we gotten to that point to where we can't out loud? Like, I'm not gonna never, I'm not gonna never say. A kid, you know, 
you know, shouldn't play basketball in the world. Well, no, I take that back because I told Doug that that kid from Stony Point shouldn't shouldn't. Uh. <laughs> no, I'm a, I'm gonna stand on it. Should we not say a kid is sorry? Because I'm not. Gonna lie. I know some kids, and hey, when sorry, I say sorry, sorry, sorry is a strong word. Sorry, yeah, gotta, it, sorry isn't isn't necessarily isn't though? how to play basketball. No, it, but it's it's it's, it's ta- you gotta be tactful about it too. Though. That's it's you how are, you say it. It's how yeah, you, you say are it. You talking can't about. It. Yeah, right. you can't. You That's can't. Different. If you if yeah. you if you telling it, say go at nobody, kid, and say, hey, you know, you were sorry today. I ain't say that. I'm just saying, like, I really don't care if somebody overhear me say a kid is sorry because. I, one thing we not gonna do, we I'm not lying about no kid, bro. Like, bro, lying about a kid to get you more worse off than telling the truth. Yeah, a parent gonna be hurt, but think about all the repercussions that can happen for us if we lie about a kid that somebody say like we said was good though. Like, oh yeah, yeah, nah, our credibility on the line because we talked to college coaches, so like we gotta keep it hundred. You get what I'm saying? Oh yeah. yeah. So, um, if I'm allowed to say they good, I'm not allowed to say they sorry. And I get I get what you're saying, Rob. Have tact, have some cools, have some cools, have some yes. common decency. But like I don't have no me sorry, as a coach, man. me as a coach, I don't have no problems telling the kid or their parents he needs some work. <laughs> he needs some work. Is what he doing right now ain't gonna cut it. Not now or at the next level. So if he want to get to the next level, that just tell you how much work he need to do. I have no problems, and that's a no. That's that in so many words. He's sorry. That's 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 me. That's my way of that's telling you. That's your way of saying you're sorry. He's sorry. But well, I'm tell also, y'all. sorry doesn't have a long standing connotation. You might be sorry now, and then got better after I called you sorry. True. And now you no longer sorry. True. Like it, it like that's what basketball is. But me as a coach, I'm not gonna say you sorry and then just tell you you sorry or, or in my way tell you you need to work on things and then not tell you what you need to work on. Like if I if I tell you you sorry, I'm gonna then backdoor it with why I think you sorry. Like your habits are bad. Like you you got a bad habit of never being in the right defensive position, or you got a bad habit of never making an extra pass. That's the reason why you sorry. You keep turning the ball over and you look bad. It's not that you sorry, you making yourself look bad. Yeah. So, so what th- I, that was gonna be my question, uh Miss Stewart. Like, what does I mean sorry means different things to everybody, I guess, per se. Um yeah, I used to tell kids true, and I, I was bad at this, I'm better now. I used to tell kids they was trash. Me too. Like, that was I was just gonna say that I think trash is worse than sorry. Yeah, I no, used to is. tell kids they was trash. No, it is. Um even my own kids, so I mean, <laughs> everybody got it. It didn't matter too. Mine too. Who it was. Mine just got out um, baseball. But I right. do, but I do. Um, some parents know this. Um, <laughs> I do, I will pull a kid to the side. I won't like just scream it out. I will pull a kid to the side and tell them, man, hey man, you was trash today. Like, like you look weak. And I just leave it at that. And that's mm-hmm. it. It's and it's not <clears> so <throat> and I always tell myself. So don't take this personal, man. But you was trash. Like you was weak. To I'll that be point. like that performance. I say what you that, that performance. But that's just bad. to the kid. That I'm not gonna like go on Twitter and say that. Oh no, nah. oh, I would I, never. Or I'm not gonna to like. To kid, bro. I ain't gonna be in the in the stands. I, I know you're not. I'm just saying. Yeah. I'm not gonna be in the stands screaming to how to man. Sorry, man. Like I'm not gonna do none of that. But I'll come and approach you and tell you how I feel that you play because I think if I if I'm taking the time out to tell you that you trash and you sorry I think that you're pretty good and but yeah. there's some things yeah. that you need to do there's some things that you need to do to change this outcome um that I just witnessed today because I know that you're better than that. I guess yeah, I should uh, leave with that huh I should yeah. I should leave with the, and like I the, said the up build and then let them down. Yeah, sorry doesn't mean forever or long standing if I know you want to get better. Like, but I've had some kids like talk to me like they was grown, and I was like, cool, I'm a, I'm gonna evaluate your game like you're grown. Cool. And it don't never match up. It don't never match up. Like y'all I, up I, <laughs> I, I I tell this story a lot. 
Like, I definitely lost the kid at the Raptors because I told him to stop shooting threes. He wasn't going to do it at the next level. So why are you doing it right now? Go get your big ass in the paint and go get some buckets. I honestly know that conversation made that kid go play elsewhere, right? I'm not tripping. That don't hurt my heart. But at the same time, I ain't telling not one lie. I went and looked at the three-year total of three-point shots. It was less than 12. I didn't tell not one fucking lie in the world. But because you wasn't ready to hear that, that that that's cool. I get it. But that don't mean that it's still not my job to take. But you, it, it's not it's not clicking right now. And th that'd be my thing. Like, kids who really think they're really, really good, who really, really – and I just be like, oh, you're barely, you're barely a basketball player. You don't got the IQ to go with just the natural talent you've been getting by on. Like we had this conversation all the time. Your best eighth grader is never your best twelfth grader. No, that's facts. Amani Bates got lucky and kind of skirted that 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 traditional theory, but for the most part, look how that ended up. Y'all about to say, did he though? Because his 12th grade year was on like, hey. But but he's he, he still had won the Gatorade player of the year though. I was, I was just gonna yeah. say that. So I he skirt when I say skirted, yep. and that's just off talent alone. How many of money base we know down here? Not none. You get what I'm saying? So that, that rule don't really apply, but I know somebody gonna be like, Oh, well, the money did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Base fundamentals, not even. Ooh, on, you know, I can't I'm, stand that coach, dude. Hey, that hey, that's one thing I'm not going. I'm. I've told myself like I, I gotta stop <clears throat> coaching effort so much. If I gotta yeah. coach effort, if I gotta coach you to go hard, this probably not at th at this stage in the game at 16, 17, because that's what I coach. I coach the 16s and the 17. At 16 and 17, if I gotta coach effort. I should be like X and O and I should be like telling you nuances of the game, how to position your body to get open, how to do certain things, not go hard, dive on the floor, go get that rebound. Like I shouldn't have to coach. Ever. Well, in these days, the way society has become now, unless you're coaching really, really elite kids, you're going to have to coach effort more than you coach X's and O's. And that's the, that's, and that's, Hey man, it's some elite. That's why I'm still really behind man. that. Okay, That's look, me, day, me, me, and said we we I cuss him out every Monday about not pressing Cowboys. weekend uh. for not for not pressing the weekend before. And the first thing he tells me, G Dai, we ain't had no practice. I can't put it in to show the proper rotations. And I say I say this all the time. I say we don't never have enough practice. We don't never have enough nothing. We don't, you still got to do it. I went and watched girls this weekend. I looked Andrea Riley dead in her face and I said, why the fuck are y'all playing man to man half court instead of pressing and you got top 10 ESPN girls on your team? Oh, we ain't had practice. This is our first weekend playing. When I said, I don't give a fuck. All those kids been in South here three years. They know, they know the rotations. The defense don't change that South here just because you matriculate. It's the same. It's literally the same shit. It's cut off one side of the court. We press up and we run fast. But instead, you letting kids dictate what you do instead of forcing them to do the hard shit. And I hate that. I get it in certain programs. Like when you're a program that don't get a lot of gym time, well, shit, you got to focus on what you focus on. But programs that I, I know got a lot of gym time, but they got a lot of out-of-town kids, so what if only seven of your 12-person roster because the other five are out of town know the rotations? At least make sure those seven know it like the back of their hand, and then you plug and play. But I like the, the lack of a press and a press break at this stage of summer basketball right now has been – it's actually been atrocious all high school. So who the fuck is teaching press break and press? If the summer coaches ain't responsible and then the high school coaches ain't responsible, who the fuck is? Shit, they just worrying about me. I got one point, but go break it by yourself. 
Hmm. That's, that's but girl, it's not, it's, girl it's, side, it's, it's, not, it's not a luxury like that. Yeah, it's I know. It's yeah, for sure. There's no effort in the homes. I don't have to do nothing at home. Well, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Time out, time out, time out, time out, time out, time out, time out. Because that goes, that goes back to my point about the habits thing. Because when I say yeah, habits, same. I ain't talking about on-court habits. Because I can't fix on-court habits in an hour and a half when you go home and the other 22 hours of your life directly contradicts what I'm trying to get you to do in this hour and a half. It doesn't work like that. You, you know you're home. a teacher too, man. That's how... Same I'm a teacher. Same. I've been teaching for 12 years. The same thing what, in classrooms. What you do in the classroom, I know what you are. I, I see what, what time it is at home. It's the same thing on this basketball yeah. court. You got to sip last good drink. habits. I know your I know your room dirty right now. I know your mom had to ask you three times a day to take the trash out when you take the trash out every Thursday, and it's a Thursday. You you gotta remind all you. Day. That type of stuff. Just the little stuff. Like, but in basketball, it's not that many different variations of the press and the press. Now, don't get me wrong. It's a lot of wild shit you could do with the press break. I, I get that. Kids probably know 37 press breaks. I got it. the press, when the press, how to press. Come on, dog. Like, I'm looking at I'm looking at shit. Like, I'm literally watching Aaliyah Chavez, number one in the class, playing half court man below the three point line. Not because <laughs> not because she's not capable. It's because nobody's making her like. You gotta hold, oh, you gotta you hold really good kids accountable. Scared to scared. Like right? you, you gotta like, and I'm not saying that that the sci-fair staff not gonna hold them. It's just you know I get what, but no way, no way. We playing 17s. These kids can't press a shirt with an iron, G dot. And you want to Run it back. Say it again. Run it back. Hit the button. Get the <laughs> that yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, exactly. I was at, come on, come on, man. You told these kids to go press a shirt on the iron. Well, they can't do that. They they they, they don't know how to even do that. Bro, Bro, some kids don't know how to mop. Hey. They like coming to I need to come into America's thing hey. right now. <laughs> I like when I hear people talk about schools that like Yates. And uh, and other schools, like, all they do is press. Well, you know why those schools average higher points per game than the school your kid at? They generate an offense. Multiplying like, possessions by two. Sometimes, sometimes shots don't fall, but I guarantee you, you play some defense. You 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 gonna get some some a little bit easier buckets. <laughs> but, like, wow. all I feel, Oh, uh, what a god, this dude is crazy, bro. Something wrong with that dude, man. But all I hear about is oh, pressing is non IQ basketball, and anybody can do that, and all of that. Well, well, it, it, it look a whole lot better, too. I mean, because I, I, how many, how many half times y'all saw where it was both teams was. Under twenty five points this season, over fifty percent of the games I went to, and, and you go to a lot of six A basketball. That's sad. That's sad. So, so when y'all say not y'all, my my panel, my staff, when I hear, oh, that kid's a dog, that kid's a dude, that kid's a, no, it's not the numbers not the numbers not matching up at all. Like, cause if you was getting to the chicken, if you that, that was that was Rob shit, dang. If you was really getting to the chicken, the numbers would would add up. But when I go back and look at the numbers on Max Prep and G Day can certify this, like y'all wasn't really scoring like that. So that either lets me know y'all was either holding back kids or kids really can't score. And it could two things could be mutually true. I don't know what it is. This summer we're gonna find out because the cream always rises. Like the that that Doug could tell you by July the cream always rises. Do you feel me? <laughs> like yep. so with all that being said, like I just I just it's some things I just be noticing. Like 
we don't defend well, we don't score well. And when I say we, I mean us as a city. When I go look at other cities, like if I if you tell me you got a San Antonio kid, I'm gonna say they're an above average shooter. Just because of the region they come out of. I watched several kids from San Antonio on the girls' side hit five threes. Like when I come and watch kids on 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 you know, Rob Rob does a great job of letting me know who the shooters are. You know, I don't focus on shooters a whole, whole lot, but they few and far between. Can't remove me from the show, man. I'm grandfathered in, homie. I thought you knew. Like, perfect example. Uh, Coach Oz, you know this. You wake up for a 9 a.m. gas game in Dallas, and, and and you looking at eight white boys and nobody taller than six three, they gonna outshoot you nine times out of ten. They gonna back door cut you. Watch I'll, the back door cuts. Out <laughs> all type of screens. I, I tell this story all the time. Liam McNeely playing fifteens going into his freshman year at Pierce. I got sixteen you at the Raptors. I tell my kids, I say, hey, this this not your regular white boy right here. This, he, he like Larry Bird type. Uh, coach, we got him. Liam damn near had 30 at half. And I'm Xing him out. I'm Xing him out in the timeout before the goddamn game. And he got 30 before half. That's because fundamentals and skill sets really matter, dog. And, and I don't see it with our kids as much. And it's few and far between. I'd agree. I'd agree with that. Like, you ain't got to have all the height. You ain't got to have bigs. You ain't got to – you got to have a skill set, though, big dog. Because that shit travel. You do. But old way versus new way, grassroots basketball. Yo, what I'm so saying. old way. Hey, old for sure. Far and few between – um, my guy Justin Dem, shout out Justin Dem. Um, he's the head coach back um, in the Peoria area. Um, he put out a tweet earlier today. Our message was on Facebook, you know, on Twitter. Um, and he just talked about when he used to play with the, the Illinois Warriors, which was like this was back like early '90s. Um, that was like the team for the whole state, the AAU team, like travel basketball, one team. Um, like you had to be a dude to play on this team, like. You, you, it just wasn't for for any and everybody. That he talked about how like they had no practices; they just showed up to tournaments and play because it was kids from all different cities. Just pull up, play. Um, he said he remembers that summer uh, made him a better player because he knew that he had to work on his own to get better to be good enough to continue to play on that team, and so. The new way I could just go play. Okay, that didn't work. I can go hop on this team. Okay, 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 I can go hop over here. Oh, none of that working. Hey, Dad, let's start a team. <laughs> I saw. I told you, payers with the players. <clears throat> and he was just talking about how watered down basketball has become. Um. He hasn't watched AU in a while, but he just went out to AU. He just the what how watered down it is. Like everybody, he's it's almost like watching the NBA where everybody's scoring 80 and 90 points. We we seen the game this weekend, Oz. Um uh, 98 to 88. Come on, like where's there was no defense play. None. Almost a hundred in the AU game That's for both crazy. teams. Hey, hold and on, you didn't go to overtime. Hold this on. Is no overtime. Let them cook. Hold on. Hold, Hold on. on. No, 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 no. Wasn't no phenomenal shooting. Wasn't none of that. It just was oh. horrible defense. Nah, it, it was oh, bad nah, defense. Nah, nah, it was bad defense. We don't subscribe to bad defense. It was bad defense. Nah. But also in today's society, and I know we talk about this all the time, and I know people don't go to the park no more. I know. I know they don't do that. But people go to LA Fitness. They go to 24-7. They go to all these all these places where it's grown men playing pickup basketball. And y'all rather shoot on the side goals and 
Man, if you don't that's, go say I got next and, and try to hop in this game, that's when you get, get your pride up on and get better. Let's get better. That's where I got my pride from. Was the park, Doss Park, and Acres home. That's where I got my. That's where I got my pride from. So when I went back to school, I brought that same type of energy at the park to the school. Like you, I wasn't gonna let you. It was ninety eight point, bro. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. I came from an era where we would fight before before I let you cook me. Like like I came from that era. Like all right, look, I I know you 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 going at me, but listen, you uh, these hands work though. What 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 about that? <laughs> that that's the era I come from. These kids don't yeah. have that, bro. Bro, they these these kids call each other twin, bro. Like I'm, I'm all good, bro. I'm not calling no other dude twin, bro. Like. That's but how can we how can we game to continue to evolve? I'll, I'll use America because everybody keeps talking about you know Europeans is kicking our butts and skilling all that which they are. I ain't, hey, I'm not gonna lie. Um man, come down to just basic fundamentals, all that stuff. For sure. Yeah, because they getting they work, man. They have a farm system where you could be 14 years old playing against somebody who's 25. I, I don't really subscribe to the foreign players. You ain't got to subscribe. Like, they over here shit, cooking. Shit ain't the they don't play no damn defense. They don't, they don't win, though. They, they don't, don't win no nothing. They don't, don't win. No they don't, don't, you're right, because we, we have shit. the we have the talent. But they, ain't you, cooking that, they ain't cooking that much, uh, moderator, because if they was, they'd be winning the Olympics. They, they, cut, they come in the league and the cook. Time. They come in the league and cook, though. Individually, though, that don't mean you right. play team back because like, they said it, it ain't no deep. Nobody plays real defense over here, man. Whoa, that goes back to what, what, what that boy Gil was saying. Our American kids got to go to college and learn how to play defense. They come over, they get instantly drafted. It's offense, offense. You can't you can't tell these American kids not to think about offense, 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 and all these European kids coming over here playing no defense. You Hello? think American kids they stupid? They not that stupid. Hello, like Hello. they like you gonna know, let Lucas shoot this step back three? I'm gonna shoot this motherfucking step back three too, dog. Like it, it's equal opportunity jacking up shots. Like and and I. I got it. I, I'm not saying it's right, but I do know one thing. I, I know Dante from Brooklyn not going to let uh, Milan from uh, Russia shoot more than him in America. I know that. Not with all them Instagram baddies and making a stallion on the sideline. <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> no, sir. I, bro, I saw be a on the sideline and, and almost recovered. hey bro i meant to tell you i see you at the game working working the sidelines bro i see you she fine in person <laughs> like you know how like they be like oh they use filters nah she fine in person person <laughs> like a lot of people were fine in person person like and that's the difference but that's what i'm saying like nah, they're not gonna but Eventually, you're gonna have a meeting of the of the two, and somebody gotta win. I just don't, I don't think we have good, and this is not no disrespect to people because I know people. I say this all the time. People not gonna hear it because they just gonna hear what I say next. You now, Rob, you. But I, I respect everybody who take their time out to deal with these student athletes in the summertime because you you, you could have been doing anything. But I just don't believe that we have good teachers of basketball fundamentals anymore i just i don't i think we have people that are well, placed hold on, there Rob. hold that thought real quick i would say today kids are more skilled than what we we were per se they're more skilled but we 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 were tougher i can you can shoot better than me but i can still beat you because i'm exactly. tougher than you yeah for sure you know, you may have a better handle than what I had back then. Uh, you may have a better different combo drift, but I'm still going to lock you up. When you meet me on me prime versus them prime, when you meet me on the court. Why? Oh, because I played against older. I didn't have no, tra I'm just saying, we didn't have, tra think about it. We didn't have trainers. 
honestly, who trained us? The older generation trained us by beating us up. That's how we got trained. Mm -hmm. You adapt or, or you drown. You, or you drown. You got to pick. You learn how to swim mm -hmm. or drown. Mm -hmm. Pick one. These kids aren't learning how to swim in basketball. Because if I don't like, if I, I don't like the way he's training, I'm gonna go to this trainer who's gonna make everything look all the glitter and gold. Then Tell I'm gonna try between sidestep, hezzy, hezzy cross, and then I'm gonna get in the game and I'm not gonna use not a single None thing I ever did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that part we see it all the time. We see it in layup <clears throat> lines, you see it. You see mm -hmm. kids who are supposed to be power forward sitting they out there want to uh, uh, let me get my bag. That's on time I'm be able to get my bag out here. Cross, cross, twin, twin, twin. Oh, 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 boy, boy, you don't go no, lay the ball Just up. go lay the ball up. Yeah, stop raising, <laughs> yeah, stop raising rebound, your head, pass, you, layup, you, you rebound, pass. When you get in the game, you dunk on somebody. Three. You get in the game and you lost and you, you oh, and you keep turning the ball over and you looking at your hands like. Because you think you're saying you your not. hands. Look at you. Mm-hmm. As soon as y'all you know we jump in, man. As soon as y'all What you say, Rob? That's why I'm saying. Put your head down. School is over. You be promoting them big ass 16, 6, 11 ass kids out there on the perimeter shooting threes. And y'all y'all know who I'm talking about. And I love the kid as a kid. But get your big ass on the post and post up in high school with average 25 and stop shooting. 12% from the three-point line. Go one for seven. Tomorrow. He can shoot it. No, he can't. No, he I'm, can't. I'm going to give you two truths right no, here, he Rob. First can't. of all, what I like in, as a basketball person versus what ESPN and America likes as a basketball person are two totally different things. Secondly, um, on, I'm not going to argue with you on that. I'm not going to argue with you on that. right. <laughs> But that don't damn that boy oh, another bro. dimension. It don't even make nah, it I'm going by default. Boy, that is another dimension. Hey, it's, 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 it's the Eclipse did that. The Eclipse did it. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> but to be oh, honest, hey, thing. let's talk about this G Day. And you know from a video <laughs> perspective, the, the motherfucking layup lines don't even look right no more. They don't. I, we used to be able to get good B roll. I get to see your face, get a dunk in. The bigs ain't dunking. The guards, the guards ain't ain't doing the jelly at the at the rim. Like the B roll different now, bro. I gotta go find you shooting a three in front of traffic out here. You out here, huh, huh, looking at your feet. Huh. In front of traffic. Now I got to cut and edit around that because somebody didn't cut across. Like, just the, the layup line, it brings back the game I love that we, that we, you remember when the kids was tweeting, oh, Lord, if you bring basketball back, I swear I do right. Them <laughs> niggas was lying. You know why? We have been back two years and they back to the bullshit, bro. They are back to the bullshit, and they use Facts, the bullshit name in vain, and I hate that for us. Facts, though. Oh, that boy, I thought you weren't coming on, man. As I was, had something to do, man. Hey, you, had, you, went and got, you went and got fitted, like Sloan was saying, man. He said, that's why you went to Stop it, man. Stop it, man. <laughs> uh, uh, I had some stuff to do, man. I didn't know y'all was going to steal me on here. No, you... But Coach Stewart, boy, you're right. You can't let everybody train your, your kid because everybody can't train. Everybody can't work with them. But we got to stop making excuses for why kids lack certain things. Instead, we have to tell them what they're lacking. <laughs> and Bro. they have to get better. And if they choose hey, We got to just everybody start ship. wearing shirts that say accountability. They just jump right. ship. It's, it is what it is. Everybody walk around hey, with accountability on their chest. Hey, y'all ever think about like maybe everybody just ain't good? No, absolutely. We talked. You know, so like think about like hey, we, we talked, talked about, about that earlier. Sorry, trash. As many as many of them TikTok challenges you do, you still can't dance. Like you just ain't got no rhythm. Like you go to a dance class, you can go wherever. Like I can take all the singers' lessons I want. 
I mean, I sound a little good, but you know what I'm saying? Like, I still can't see. Like, dudes can cut hair all they like. Dudes can be a barber all they like and still can't cut hair good. So why do we make it feel like everybody can be good at basketball? Everybody learning curve ain't the same. Like, you know, some people can pick somebody, some certain people can do certain stuff and then just pick it up and they got a natural knack for it. Or some people can pick it up and like, you can see their growth in it. Some people pick stuff up and just never get any better at it. Also, some kids get greater later. No matter what they do in high school, it's just never going to be good, never going to be right. And then they grow into their body, a light switch clicks, and then, True. bam, they do. Like, it, that that's what that's what's so beautiful about this game that we argue about and be passionate about. No two stories look the same. And some kids post their field goal percentage. <laughs> <laughs> As a walk on that's in the portal. That went to a prep school my, my, at the high school. Went to a prep school out of high school. My, my, my. Man, what's wrong with y'all, man? I didn't come on this show for this today, man. <laughs> what's wrong with y'all, bro? <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. Hey man, it's, it's the tequila, man. Shots. Cheers to you, DK. Yo, we all drinking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Man, I ain't gonna lie. After the weekend, week I done had on Twitter, I've been drinking red wine every day. Yeah, that's because you got on Twitter with that bullshit. Did I get on Twitter with that bullshit? Oh, shit. Did I get on Twitter with that bullshit? Take me off the screen. Take me off the screen, please. Did I get on Twitter with that bullshit? Oh, man. Why the hey, fuck? Listen, you, come, you talk about listen. us, nigga. You come on this motherfucker and open up a big-ass 4th of July fireworks party. It was all cool. July? You finna make it July in this motherfucker. Everything was oh, all cool. So you no. all right. Okay. No, I'm going to be quiet. I'm oh, out of this. Oh, mm -hmm. boy. Yeah, point on up there. Yeah, he up there. Point on up there. My friend, I can't get my shit. Yeah, you go. You, you, you on point. You on point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It is what it is. We, 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 we just be honest with each other. We talk about it after the show, though. We well, you just on, brought it up on the public forum in front of thousands of people. See what I'm saying? Listen, man, you see, you, you heard J. Cole today? Hey, <laughs> man, man, no. Speaking no, of, no, 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 come on, man. Now, listen, that's a great segue. What, what's going on? Now, listen. I, I want y'all I want y'all opinions on this. This is bat, so Music is a part of basketball. Somebody <laughs> asked me this uh, a couple of days ago. Like, why would we talk about music and wrestling and all that stuff on the show? Cause to me, all of it go hand in hand, man. Especially music, music and basketball, they go together. This, that's my personal opinion. Uh, sure. But what's your thoughts on on the retracting or recanting of the? I'm gonna say this, and I'm gonna leave it alone. As a J Cole fan, I am utterly disgusted. Mm, See, don't, don't be like I that. Get j cole part of it because i think people was trying to make it a beef instead yes. of a rap battle we just exactly foreign, but don't don't apologize well but, well like, i think because but, but because they friend my bad Doug, go ahead my bad yeah no no they're like you're right like they're friends and you know they're colleagues and they've worked together before people was trying to make it a a biggie type biggie tupac that was a beef and it ended bad you know what yeah. i'm saying for both of them they were trying to make it a beef instead of a rap battle. I'm all for a rap battle, and it was setting up to be a really good one. So, Damn. I think that I think that's what I think that's why he apologized because people was trying to well, make it a I, beef. I think, I think he battle. apologized too because he put in there like you know what I'm saying like he can get pop, he can get bitters on him. You know what I'm saying like yo, I ain't no shooter, but I got bread, I can get you taken care of. You know, and it's like, man, I don't really want. Yeah, that that's exactly. Like, wait, wait, it's like, dang, you know, he's like. Hold on, he hold said, on, hold no, on. He said I can get the Clinton. Like, like nah. because because think about <laughs> but he it. said if, but if every, so so what if everybody else is beef? <laughs> so what if Kendrick comes back and be like, fuck your apology? <laughs> then it's on. I mean, it's so on. what's the point? Dude, what's the dude, point? Because because Jay, because as we all know, J. Cole has worked and has done whatever, and he has become like a real kind of like um, I don't want to say like spiritual. I don't know his spirituality journey, but you know, like like he he's been he he's been way past like yeah, free stuff, and you know what I'm saying. Like like even in his music, he don't be talking about popping dudes and 
you know what I'm saying, like doing a bunch of drugs and all kind of crazy stuff. Like he 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 been a little more uplifting. So it's you like if your friend you been in the going on, yeah. Did you apologize? Like my best friend though. Yeah. It don't matter. I ain't apologizing. Yes, if I do something, I'm not apologizing. I'm not apologizing for you hear nothing. Me, listen, you hear me in my mouth, and we 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 get over, and you don't apologize. Nigga, I might snipe you. It might be real. Because if I'm sniping like, you. You better snipe my whole family. <laughs> there you go. Hey, that's the kind of real That's crazy. No, I'm, not talking, I'm talking about that's brothers, crazy. cousins. That's Chicago. Dude. Man, listen. I think I, I I just think some stuff like bro, you you get in fight, bro. We all play on team. Like we've gotten fights with our team. I had to tell my son this. Him and one of his little t-ball teammates, they won again, fourteen to nine. They uh they, they was beat they out no in, the, in the dugout. <laughs> they 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 was, <laughs> they was beat out in the dugout, bro. And my wife was like going crazy because they was they was pushing each other. Man, they on he the was team. Mad be all right. DJ scored all the runs. What happened? Nah, DJ, he did. He, I'll tell y'all about this later, but my, my son, look, he, he different, boy. He different, man. <laughs> <laughs> he, he different. But I, I'm just saying, bro, like, you, you get into it with your brother, you get into it with your partner, y'all get in fights. Like, you know, cooler heads prevail. Like, hey, man, look, my bad, bro. I should have. Oh, hey, hey, I get it. I, I, hey, hold on, he, D-King. I get what you're saying, but are you going to stop mid-scuffle and say you saw, <laughs> or are you going to wait till after the scuffle? <laughs> That's what I mean, I'm but but if you but if you think about it, J. Cole already threw his blows. He already like Kendrick Kane swung at him. J. Cole already swung and so really you mean kind to tell of connected. Me, you mean to tell me there's gonna be no verses about Kendrick on 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 this fall off album? You you got you better believe it's gonna be some some more shots thrown. This thing ain't over yet. I don't know. It might be a different level. But what we really need to talk about is how y'all boys still ain't said nothing. Bro, because he ain't built for that, bro. Like, he's y'all not, hey, it's not you his can't, lane, you can't, be, you can't be waiting on Drake to say nothing because uh, Metro and them ain't dropped their second, Drake, second album yet. Metro and them ain't dropped their second album yet. Yeah, that's, that's what he's waiting for. Uh, waiting you got to wait, you gotta wait, wait on everything to come on out. Drake going to respond. He going to be singing this shit. Nah, bro. Nah, don't do that. Don't do that, dude. I need the same. I need the same energy you have for me, bro. Like all that you was doing for me, you dropped the back, the back. But what's the joint he dropped with? No, Meek dropped the joint with the Undertaker bells, right? That that was uh, Meek yeah. this. They had the Undertaker bells. Like, come on, bro. I'm not trying to hear that. What? Come on, come on, man. J Cole. Coach, I might make a good point though. Like. Dudes is dying in a rap game, so I think that's why J Cole is like, "Yo, man, I'm a chill." But that's like, the they young dudes, just, though. Yeah, that's the young coach, but, but, but they not dying from rap battling. Yeah, they, they yeah, dying. That's they street like, niggas. It's the extra, that's yeah, it's the extra like, stuff. I was, I was looking they for street for niggas. That's why they dying. Battle. Like, bro, I they, was not, dying, bro. they dying off the fence and overdose. Yeah, they I not was. dying like two pockets. Yeah, Queen of Drake gonna have they a nobody shoot nobody at the red light out here. That they really weren't beefing with it. That was the media that made them get into that stuff. Like that okay. no, 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 no. Bro, Pac thought Biggie shot at him, bro. He says Biggie ain't helping when he thought he said bro, it. Bro, they would never out. came out with those vibe covers. They did not, it did not turn into East Coast, West Coast until they came out with those vibe covers, bro. After those vibe covers, that's when everything got mm-hmm. dead. But what was yeah, first? Got, what, 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 what was first? What, yes. did, did Pac get shot in New York first or the vibe covers were first? No, Pac got Which one was first? Pac got it, shot in the bro, and that's what, it, it, right and that's what started, bro. They dropped the they dropped the East Coast versus West Coast though. Right after the that. source of what when, when Snoop and them went to New York and yeah, Snoop East Coast ain't got love for like bro, that 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 like fueled it, bro. Like, it was wild back then. Dang, I'm old. It was bro. Really bro. That shit, like it was yesterday. Yeah, y'all showing y'all age. Y'all was throwing the West Side at school. I was, I was and I was from the west side of Port Arthur, bro. So I was throwing it up every day. <laughs> like, that's real, it dog. It wasn't a bunch of people down south that was on the east coast side. Like, no, nah, absolutely not. I remember absolutely like it was not. yesterday, bro. I was leaving Sunday school and they was talking about it on 9 about how Tupac died. Like on my birthday. 
Yeah, I remember it like it was yesterday, dog. Like, I remember when he got the day he got shot and the day he died. Like no. they, they pronounced him dead later on, but like when he got shot, like it wasn't really it wasn't even how many of y'all go to the intersection when y'all in Vegas? Just to, like just a oh, I go every single time. I do every up, time. I always end up going. <laughs> yep, every time. It, it, it doesn't sit well with me that they don't have no type of like marking there. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Like, yeah, would have been Elvis, they would have had something there. Like, they have now, you know that to put there. Yeah, that, that's crazy. Do you, do you, do you, do can you want them to commemorate a murder? Yeah, bro, murder. Not, they do it for everything else, bro. Hold on, hold on. We you know, know what like, like, yeah, so like, they be having like you know with John the and, bears and all that stuff. Lie. They do that for everybody else, bro. Yeah. In Preview, you, you go down Preview Lane with with Sandra Bland got arrested. Let's say they got the Sandra they Bland. Got, thing they right got still there. got teddy bears and everything right there. Yeah, like, so. bro, they they got the X in Dallas where one where my um old boy uh I'm pretty sure they killed that guy. So the Nifty got killed. You know what I'm saying? Now they, they closed that they closed that shop. Yeah. I know I, I know they closed there, but I'm saying they probably got something there. Yeah, they got, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. The United States celebrate that stuff. We do it all the time. Let's be real. Let's be real. They made they made Martin Luther King's whole hotel into a god dog a, museum. A museum, bro. A museum. Yeah. Uh, they stopped TV when Princess Diana died in London. Uh, Come on, bro. They had nothing to do with us. Bro, let's keep it but now, when OJ was running from the cops, dog, the white America oh, was so bad they killed kill itself, the Rockies, yeah. bro. The they Rockies, game. Rockies game. I remember that like it was game. yesterday, bro. Have bro, they cut the Rockies. For a high off. speed chase, bro. No, not even a high speed chase. Dude was just driving. Bro, it was a cruise. It was just no regular speed. driving. It was just just oh, random God. driving, bro. Forty five on the highway. We're about to talk a game two of the, of the 1994 oh, <laughs> NBA championship to show you OJ Simpson leading a caravan hey, of police down the freeway. Bro, man, give a damn about OJ driving the hey, hey, road. Hey. Fast forward nine to 12 months later, every school PA system flashed the OJ verdict across the PA. Yeah. Bro, no, no. Guilty. Hey, I went to Garden Oaks Elementary, right? Hey, time to. Them boys used to roll with them cafeteria working ladies used to roll the cart every lunch and put the trial on, dog. Every lunch, oh, that's crazy. We, had, oh, we were man. watching the OJ oh. trial in elementary school, dog. That's crazy. That's America crazy. Loves tragedy, bro. Unfortunately, we bro. love it. It's we crazy. We come in real rain. quick. What, what was your favorite rap beef? Mm. Mm. I ain't gonna cap that the, the most impactful for me and my generation probably would have been 50 versus Ja because everybody know where they was when they heard that quarter hit the table on, on that on that track. Everybody know where they was when 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 that 50 dropped. Get rich or die trying was monumental. I think the one that hurts me the most. Because I'm a South Sider through and through. When I saw Scarface turn on Lil Flip versus Lil Flip versus Ti, that's when I kind of realized, oh, people really don't really really be your friend. Like they just say they be your friend, but if 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 opportunity presents itself, you out here. Hump turned on. Hump, hump turned on Flip too, man. He did. Hump said, Hump, Hump said, Flip, it was so funny. I remember, remember they used to have the DVDs come out. Hump was like, man, you scared, man. You can't even shoot a pistol, man. You shoot like this. <laughs> I remember that <laughs> Hump, Hump was bad as hell at Flip. I remember that. Like, the most impactful was Tupac and Biggie, of course. But, like, as far as, just like, a lyrical rap battle, Ice Cube was a bad dude, bro, when he was going to NWA, dog. Hey, man. Like, it was no Vaseline, no Vaseline bro. That's no Vaseline. Level, dog. Man, no Vaseline, boy. Oh, my God. Bro, man. <laughs> that might be that, that that might be top three songs, like like beef songs. Yeah. That might be top three. It, yeah. might, it really might be. No, nah, Drake, I remember when Slim Thug, like left like Switcher House or something. He went in, he had a tape about Lil Mario and them. I remember that joint. 
Chameleon I remember that, bro. Charles was probably the most hilarious battle. Because he I was calling that, that can actually rap. He like, was calling man. that boy Dyke oh. Jones a lot. Dyke Jones. I was like, hey, I was like cool. dang. Like, that, that wasn't fair, bro. That was like, that, that's like Jay-Z having a rap battle with Takashi 6 ix 9 or something, bro. Like, Chameleon, I could actually rap, bro. Like, he was next level. What was Mike Jones' partner he came out with? Um, Magnificent. He Mag, no, he used to come Magno. to Northline. I remember the Magno, you hurt? Now, that would have been a better beat. Magno versus uh, Chameleon. Yeah, somebody better. like that. Because Magno can like rap a little bit. I wonder what, man, we need to switch the house document. I wonder what I all these the, dudes doing, bro. I remember the T.I. Little Flip beef. Yeah. That was entertaining. It wasn't my favorite, it but was. it was entertaining. It was entertaining. Because <laughs> they was being petty, like. I know it, right? <laughs> it was being super petty. It was real entertaining. We didn't have some good ones, though. I, oh, yeah. I know uh, Jay-Z. Jay-Z and Nas my favorite one. Jay-Z yeah, that was good. Because, because like, Jay wouldn't let it go. Like He, just he would on. not let it go, bro. Who, he wouldn't let it go. Who killed Cassidy? Man, Cassidy, man, Cassidy say, Oh, I need a beat, or I, I need a, a change. Or did Cassidy kill Freeway? No, Cassidy killed Freeway. No, Freeway was... told, Freeway yeah, told him to put a beat on. Beat, huh? Yeah, mm-hmm. Cassidy Freeway. You could go Eminem, Beanie, Beanie, and Jada Kiss. Like Coach Russ said, that was a good one, too. That there was, you go. it really was. What was they beating for? Just because it was Rock, Both, Rockefeller was beefing with just everybody. Just because it was Rockefeller was beefing with everybody. They beefing no, with everybody. No, no, no. The uh, remember Dipset was beefing with uh with Jay too. Remember that Dip, Dipset yeah. was beefing with Jay Z. Hey, but hey. Jim and them was putting out some stuff though. Like they, had a couple. they was putting they had out a couple. Stuff, like. I feel like we missing, like we missing key. Ti versus Ludacris was short lived. No, uh, that was one. No, that was no, no, no. That was weak. Who was that? Who oh, was baby. that? Um, hit the song after. Who was um? Who did Young Buck? Who was Young Buck beefing with? Oh, it wasn't, no, no, no. It wasn't the Young Buck. It was Fifty Cent in the game. It was Fifty Cent in the game, and Young Buck jumped in, and Lloyd jumped in, Lloyd Banks jumped in. Yeah, yeah, that was oh, a, that was a classic one. That's when a hundred miles cold. Running. Hey, that mm-hmm. reminds me. That reminds me about people jumping in. That's a good point, D King. What if right now? What if right now? I'm just I'm gonna just play devil's advocate. Just throw this out because I'm a little biased. What if right now Wayne come out of nowhere and was like, "Hey, all this talk about best rapper alive," and he just come out with some. Wayne will get cooked. That's like that's Wayne like, will get cooked right now. That's what? like that's yeah, right like, now. Yeah. Like this, you yeah. think Wayne will get cooked right now? That's In like this year. Yeah. 2020. Think, you see I his think, hair? You don't dish you your hair. hair? <laughs> Come on, man. Uh, Wayne out of there. Hey, Chris Cass. Jeezy versus Guwap. Guwap won Jeezy twice. He won the good. first time. And he won on the versus. The versus. <laughs> Cause I don't care oh, no. anybody one D and, and still perform truth, you win. It's nothing we it's nothing we gotta talk about. But right. he told him he Gucci was gonna perform the song, man. I'm performing the song. Perform. And then but then Jeezy came that right, like it was so cold. He transitioned to I'm the realest nigga in it. Y'all already know, bro. So it you think so you feel epic, Gucci bro. won the verses? Oh, I don't feel like Gucci won the first time they battled. I, I think it's I, I got it. I got it. When, when somebody try to kill you and you on that stage, you already winning, bro. Like, it, you already, the, the, at that point, I the rules don't matter because Jesus is on your side. D King, we were talking about this the other day. That Blueprint 2 is one of the best disc records. Nobody Thanks, coach. I'm trying to tell him Wayne not getting cooked right now. They're not. They're not trying to hear me. They talking about. They talking, talking about. Look at his hair. Look at Jay Z hair. Y'all I, I'm. They're not trying. Look at Cole's hair. Look at Jay Cole hair. Bro, look at Jay Z no, 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 no. Wayne has a dread. This short. No, I don't. Next to one. They, this they obviously have not heard Wayne's last. Right here. Come on, man. I, Wayne is on my Mount Rushmore of rappers. Of all time, top five. But top five. he, he will five. get cooked in the rap battle in twenty twenty four, bro. 
I don't see it. I don't see that. Uh, either. See <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Because what he rap about now don't make sense. No, but no, no, no. I'm just saying. I'm what I'm saying is if he came back on like greatest rapper alive type tip, like like he was back in the day. Like he, I think right now he's the greatest rapper alive. So he's kind of like almost in that. Well, not almost like Jay Z. I could put out whatever. I could say whatever I want on the song, and people going people gonna rock with it regardless of what I say. Like I will say, if Wayne was the to, to hone in on it, yeah. Just talk your yeah. shit. Just talk yeah. your shit. Yeah, yeah, you'll be all right. And so this is what I, this That's is That's like this is what Andre 3, I hate to use this. Andre <laughs> 3000 put out that flute album <laughs> and had <laughs> over a million really streams. Good point. I wasn't listening to no it point. was really good. Bro. I just like because it. it's, I like just it. because it's him. <laughs> I like yeah. it. I, I you listen. go well, platinum on the flute the album. I'm listening to Kenny G, and you ain't never played the flute ever. This is the first time you played flute. I love jazz, so and you go platinum. Yeah. Uh, I, I People listen. go platinum off them off the woodwinds. Paul. But that blue, <laughs> that blue, that, blue that blueprint yeah. too. Uh, the uh, come on, dog. The track, on, dog. bro. That's one of the best this rap because nobody ever talks about, bro. Hey, the rap version of TDJ prophesizing on your CD, bro. Tapes, bro. Come it on, was man. insane, dog. The beat, come on, the, man. bro. He was killing it, dog. Hey, I listened to Method Man wow. on that um, on that Mellow podcast, the uh, seven seven p.m. in Brooklyn, and he talked about that. Uh, What's the tour? The crate, bro. That that was the wildest tour I've ever. I've ever seen money Def Jam tour. No, 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 no. The J, uh, Jay Z. Up and smoke. No, no the Jay Z tour Knight with DMX and um. Oh, that was the hard night. That was the hard and, and like the locks and out. He said, uh, he said Jay Z made everybody donate to Columbine from yeah. that from that thing. So so in that verse when he say. Uh, I put dollars on mine. That's oh, Columbine. Columbine. So I was dropped. I was the first. I was line. the first in line. Yeah, he like he, he really oh. did that, bro. Like, well, that really dude say that. that's crazy. That boy, what man? That dude say I get the spoils because the victor is me, bro. That that whole oh, album, man. bro. Like it's like he blacked out and just start spazzing, bro. Went cold, bro. Cold. Went cold. I leave that man alone, dog. Like and then yeah. he he be taking like dudes be beefed out with him and be saying stuff and he just say like <laughs> just like 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 when he said I'm, I'm about a dollar what the it's fifty cents you know what <laughs> yeah. I'm saying? like like bro the beef over bro like let's like the dude over. jungle you know? he saying the little homie jungle is a garden to me and just left it come alone on, bro <laughs> come on dog come on man that dude that dude, yeah. that dude that, that's that's my greatest to ever do it in my opinion G Day what's yours? Jay Z versus DMX. Mm, I forgot about that one. You know what was a funny one? R. Kelly and Jay Z. You know what they was beefing? <laughs> yeah, because oh, of the album got shelled and Kells went at that nigga. Y'all don't remember that? <laughs> Man, it's T. Right. Say, tell your lawyer take that silver case and drop it like it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> Then uh, uh, R. Kelly's uh, pepper spray, my boy. Yeah, <laughs> dog. Out of pocket. Yeah, that's, that's, that's wild. That's man. one of the funniest beats of all time. No, that, that's definitely wild. I remember Zero and yeah. uh, Zero and uh, and and some third was beefing for a minute. I remember that one. I remember that. I never would have thought Zero and uh, Trey would have been beefing. That that kind of hurt my heart. Yeah, that's wild. Then, then he got physical. All right. That's the bad part, bro. If, 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 if Trey wants to apologize to Zero, G, how you feel about that? That's what are you apologizing for? After the fight and the bro, rest. Bro, he did. He was out of pocket, bro. I mean, I, he, he was. was, he I was it, right? was, so, D. King, it's a better question. If you were Zero, would you accept the apology? If, if, if you were seen, yeah, okay, if, if I, if, if, I, if, 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 some, if, if, on, if, if we talk it out, if me and you are cool, right? Why would I tell Doug to sneak you from behind? If I'm that cool with you, if me and you fight, that's one thing. But I would never tell, hey, 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 Doug. He was seen on camera telling somebody else to sneak somebody that he's supposed to be. I would never be cool Listen, with you man. again. Never. Hey, y'all, the part, Listen, I Take can accept your apology, your apology and not. Look, I can accept your apology and not still be cool with you, though. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, he, you, that, that, that could still happen. Could have died in that moment. I'm Bro, I'm saying like we we we've all done done stuff before in the past, and then we think about it over some time. Be like, man, you know what, bro? I was wrong for that. Like, dang, I really shouldn't have did that. Like, man, you know what? I shouldn't have said that about you. You know, oh man, I shouldn't have did that. You know, like like anything. Like Rob, I shouldn't have took your glasses and hit them, and then you couldn't see. You know, <laughs> <laughs> like we get we we, we get it, like stuff happens, bro. Hey, man. <laughs> this one. Like, would you forgive me, Rob? If I say, Rob, my bad, bro. I, I should have hit your glasses That's in a this. cereal box. This this. A, a, a box of cocoa puffs, and I know you allergic to chocolate, so you'll never open That's it. Tough. You know what I'm saying? Like, it'll be different, bro. That's still different, though. That's yeah, still you, different. You out of pocket for that. Yeah, that's, that's, out, that's out of line. Yeah, you out of line, bro. You taking his glasses and making a blind and trying to give him an allergic reaction, bro. Like, that's oh, man. That's that's that's. that's <laughs> oh, man. Man. I didn't think about the allergic reaction, boy. Tell you the truth, man. Man, trying to kill me. <laughs> yes, no, pretty I was, much. No, oh, man. I was raised not to apologize if you don't mean it. What you apologizing for? Yeah, I agree with that. Like, if I don't mean it, I mean, you only apologize. I but you only mean, I, I, I even told my I even told my kids that like if you're gonna do something, stand on whatever you do, and don't apologize if and you're not sorry. Listen, my son hit a girl, hit a girl with a tree branch outside. What she do though? That's kind of wild. So she he ain't like what she said. I don't care what I don't care what she did. We don't hit girls, and we don't get so upset to where we do some line of character like that. Like that ain't what we doing, man. He's sick. Guess what I made him do? You made him go apologize. He probably meant to hit her on purpose. That's probably his intention. That's probably in his heart. Oh, DJ. Yeah. Oh yeah. He Say, hey. First and foremost. <laughs> You probably should have kept that story in the back. <laughs> <laughs> First and foremost, for DJ, but I still he ain't he like not the hit, he man. definitely. He, he, but he definitely no, I feel you, like bro, like, and I'm on the phone with Robin G Day. So Grayson spits on this kid at daycare, and I know how I am as a person. I'm like Grayson. I might have to fight a pen behind you because you spit on their child. And that's rightfully so because you don't do no shit like that. So, you know, I get to the school. I ain't got to ask him, did he do it? Because you know how when you spit and it dry up on your face, it be white? It's a little face white. <laughs> yeah, all right, bro. That's disgusting. I'm, uh, bro, I say, Grayson, go say sorry. So he go apologize. It's the smallest kid in the class. I feel embarrassed times two now. I say, oh, I'm I'm going to get snuck by a parent because my child think he a bully. So now I go him up, Grayson, outside. I say, bro, if you ever spit on somebody again, I'm going to kill you before somebody else can. Because you don't do shit like that. Like, that shit is. Like that, you, that that's unacceptable. Man, like somebody spit on me, I think I'm going to jail. You it's think you, you, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna end up killing somebody. I'm, I'm walking on eggshells the whole week picking up Grayson from school. Like I got two, I got two stories. One about not apologizing, and one about speeding. But y'all remember them lunch trays? We used to get them ceramic, plastic, like lunch them mm -hmm. horns. With the oh, five yeah. square slides, yes, yes, five square, <laughs> and, and, and the first, one for your the, the one for your plastic wear. This is when uh -huh. they first started separating classes for like the Spanish speaking kids only. Like when we had that influx of of people coming, so they had the ESP classes. So when I used to be bad, they would put me in the Spanish classes so I couldn't communicate with nobody. Right, so I go to used lunch. to be what? <laughs> yeah, wait, that comes. <laughs> Yeah, that's kind of crazy. So they would put me in the because I talked a lot. Go figure. But that, so to stop me from talking, they would put me in the class with none but Hispanic kids because I they so nobody know what you say. Yeah. <laughs> so it was this one. It was this one kid. It was this hey, one kid that spoke English halfway, named Alejandro. I'll never forget him. 
<laughs> me and the dude did not get along. We stay on the same street. Man, one day this dude spits on the back of my head and it ran down my neck. <laughs> Before I knew it, I turned around and knocked him out. I was in the fourth grade. I, I hit him on the jaw with the with the uh lunch tray and knocked him out cold in the line. And 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 <clears throat> and, and we got another thing and we continued to get my bro, you don't spit on me, bro. And about the oh, apologizing thing, I was suspended for a month in seventh grade at Fleming Middle School because you know I do not condone violence and I do not condone violence against women. But a young lady smacked me and then proceeded to pull a blade out of her bra and try to cut me. No, that's a little different. So, and what what middle school is this? Fleming Middle no, that's School. A little different. Hey, none of my family members going to Fleming. <laughs> Nobody. I proceeded Nobody. to punch her and, 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 and knock her unconscious. And so, uh, oh yeah, she had a blade. She was trying to cut me. What do you mean? Why are you looking like that, D. King? She was trying to harm. The skin is tender. She was trying to harm your boy. You feel me? I had to do what I had to do. But they told me if I if I wrote up a formal apology that I could be reinstated in school. All not, right, that's not a positive word. Rob. Hey. Question: How old were you when this happened? Which we're talking about the girl incident, the young lady. No, incident? I'm talking about the, the, the spitting incident. Um, I was fifth grade, nine or ten, something. Bro, like so how did you feel? <laughs> they put you in a classroom of Hispanic people. So and you this, talking? This is the and crazy they part, responding, dude. bro. How <laughs> do you handle that as a nine year old? So this is the crazy part, dude. <laughs> Cause that, that's why y'all be saying I'm angry. I'm so <coughs> loving and caring about people's feelings. Cause as a kid, I didn't care about nothing. So I never knew. Uh, just quick, I never knew that it was a like a alternative school for elementary kids, right? So I went to an alternative school in third grade. This was before the incident. Cause I tried to stab a kid with a fork. <laughs> they, so the hell. No, and when where I grew up at, well, I grew so I didn't know this until I got older, right? You you had you had poor, and then you had like moderately poor, right? So like I was the kid that was moderately poor, so I would get Levi's, I would have Jordans, but me and my brother would go to school. We all everybody from Fifth Ward, right? But everybody, mamas and daddies don't work; they don't get the same money. I never knew that kids didn't like me because I had things that they didn't have. So mm. we stayed on the street by ourselves. They would always try to pick on me and my brother, cause but we never knew why, right? So long story short, I just got back from doing my little bid at the at the uh at the alternative. My little bid. <laughs> my little bid. I come back in fourth grade, right? I come back to fourth grade. I'm like, all right, I did my time. I gave my little time to somebody I'm back. <laughs> they put me in the, so, so to answer your question, it was hard as hell, dude. Because I was, in, I was in that class. You're incriminating yourself, dog. Stop. No, this, this, this is third. This is documented, though. As you and D King's close friends, we are gonna have to scrub God, a lot bro. of shit out of the show. As the boy, it was hard. It was hard. I was, it was, it was, I was my little bead. I was, yeah, I, a little bit I was in that class from August. Queen, I'm trying to stop him, man. He's a. I was in I'm that class from August to February, and it was the most. It was one of the most difficult times ever in school. Like, <laughs> he's doing a little bit. Oh yeah, I did my little. Hey man, man look, somebody. I did my little time. If y'all never, I don't. Report. And I don't know. I don't want to take this, but if y'all never went to our turner school, I went to our turner school in elementary and high school. It's it's jail before jail. Like you, if it you was, you have to act a certain way. Like the first day I got there, I'm in the third grade. Dude in the sixth grade, he just walked up to me and punched me. Boom. So I look at the teacher. He like, man, you better fight back. I, I gotta <laughs> fight back. Dude, dude, gonna let us squabble. Like you had to grow up real fast, man. But that, hey. that to answer your no. question. I would never want no kids to have to go through that because that, that <coughs> solitary confinement as a nine or ten year old where nobody looks like you, nobody sounds like you, it, it was I zero stimulation. 
I worked at I worked at an alternative school, bro, for two years in A League. Yeah, and it's the same thing. Like we got, we had. I think the youngest kid we ever. Well, when I was there, man, was like a third grader. You know, and you know, you got to walk on one side. You got to wear a uniform. You can't wear no colors. <laughs> no, like, no belt. Got to walk on one side hallway, hand yep. behind the back. Can't talk. Like lunch trade. That's it. Nothing. You get a magazine. Like you can't. Like it's bad. You can't do nothing. No jewelry. Girls can't wear no makeup. Like. Bro, they was okay. tearing the soles out of my suit. Brand new Adidas. Every day they was tearing the soles out. They take the soles out to I cause I went to CEP, so I was getting bust from Fifth Ward all the way out to Galveston, 45 towards Galveston to CEP. <laughs> you gotta line, you gotta line up. The, this no true story. The first day I go to CEP, I'm scared as crap, right? If you gotta line up before when they drop you off at the bus, you line up on the side of school, they let you in one by one because you gotta go through the middle detector. It's a dude running people pockets in the line. He going out. It, he, I'm like, dog, if he comes to me, I'm gonna have to fight, bro. But because I ain't gonna hit <laughs> why I know the dude, I went to Fleming with him. So he get to me, I'm like, he like, bro. I'm like, Damien, bro. And when I tell you this dude, no, it wasn't true. When I tell you this dude was like five five, bro. Everybody was <laughs> everybody giving them his money. Everybody is going out of their pockets, giving this dude their money, going in their shop, they chew wherever they got it. Cause, but yeah, you gotta go through a metal detector. We had little pod classrooms where you gotta go in the pod, and everybody like four to a class. They rip your soul, they take your souls out your shoes. You gotta. Take your pockets inside out. Take your shirt off. They shake your shirt out. And all the books, they check. Because people was hiding razor blades in the you know, like, Yeah, the textbooks. They'll open the, the paper up and put blades in the in the book and then take the book back together. So they was, like, taking the books apart. Mm, different life, boy. It was dead. Man, you are, you are man, American. You live a different life, my boy. I'm proud of you, bro. Hey, that was, I made it out. This is the crazy part. I didn't even do nothing to get there. The only thing I did is not tell on somebody who did something. I, I refused to tell because it was a fight that happened. I was there. I was the tallest person in the ninth grade. I was 6'1". Mm -hmm. They threw me on the camera. They said, hey, this is documented too. Bro, they said, if you don't tell, you're going to take the breath for everybody. I ain't tell. So I had to go. Sounds well, you don't make it street, boy, bro. Because you kept the street. Uh, I had to. Who are you? <laughs> hey, Rob, so when I'm you was sorry, little, I didn't mean to go off hey, of the page in America. That's that, but that's Rob, the opinion so of what was... HISD is, though. Like, imagine what Gulf Shores looked like in 2000, 2004, bro. Me and Nettie was at Gulf Shores at Gulf Shores in its prime during the summer because we wasn't going to take math at Bel Air, bro. Math at Bel Air was a different type of hell. So we gonna take it in summer school, dog, and we looking at like twenty two year olds in the eleventh grade. Like I let a twenty two year old cheat off me, also because he's bigger than me. I've seen it. Like as a sophomore in high school, you think like, man, you'll get your old ass on my face. All right, dude. <laughs> all right. Get your old ass on my face. I, like it's was he, different. Was he, was he Hispanic? Nah, he was black. Oh yeah, nah, I would have been cool, man. Like, if he was a Hispanic, twenty-two year old, I would. I mean, man. I'm not. I, you know, all my people, my people, I'm not really tripping. But Dre and I, Gulf Shores was job core one on one, like the, the building that Gerald Green built. That's it. With a, a parking lot, a parking lot with twelve spots. Is it a really good basketball team? But like, <laughs> basketball. Where, where's Gus Shores at? Mama took me by there and pointed at some little Ricky <laughs> like that the ball the strip right ball. It's right there. Strip ball right there. What so the you hell? coming down South Main and you make that right by the Fiesta, I, bro, that's why I got my first ticket. Like before they built South Main, how it was, South Main used to be lights. It wasn't yeah. just one long yeah, ass I gotta street. call you, bro. I've been hearing some rumblings about your son. I need some info. So, bro, you, you used to go down South Main, and South Main was like kind of like still got grass in the middle. Police could sit right there. Got my first ticket in high school trying to trying to make it to the class on time. Never again. 
Gulf Shores. Right. But Wait, yeah. oh, Gulf Shores was Gulf Shores was by that fiesta on yeah. South Main. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. Yup. Right that's on that's where uh, a money school is. We yeah, but them. see the money on the left side, Gulf Shores. Once you got to the light, you bust that right, and it's off in that and that little parking street right there. Hey, they got a success story from, from I mean, but Thaj Joe Green, uh, my, my guy, Anthony Vereen, they call him man. He an uh, assistant player development coach with the Golden State Warriors, man. He, he was on the oh, man went, Yeah, man went to go shows. Yep. I didn't know that, man. He was on the, he was on the team with, with uh, Joe Green and Wing Adams. Bro, I did not even remember that, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Yep. I, I did not remember that. The summer school classes, summer. the summer school kids that that was going to go shorts <laughs> provided them with the funds to keep open during during the regular school year because they didn't have enough students. Yep. But because we all was taking accelerated summer classes, they was getting that bread. Like shit, I think we pay, we was paying two seventy five for a class, and, and we was taking two maths a summer. Cause ain't, ain't, cause ain't no way Jerry Green's supposed to be going to no damn go shows. He was at Dolby to begin with. <laughs> we'll go from Pasadena all the way to South Man, what the hell? Thank you. you don't make that f- back then. You don't make that far of a leap. That's unheard of. You don't skip Damn. three school districts. <laughs> like that's unheard of, bro. Like it's three school districts of basketball coaches that's gonna throw up a net and snatch you out the air. Like and then like even before you get the ghost shows, what you get to Westbury Christian first, right, Rob? Yes. Yes. Like, nah. Yes. Don't Rob, pass. did they call you Roberto in those classrooms? Uh-huh. <laughs> nah, man. They, uh-huh. they, they didn't talk. So Roberto. <laughs> at the crappy for the body, I still learn. I still, I, and I'm just good with That's that. That's how learn you learned your Spanish. I learned everybody name in that classroom and the principal bless her heart she she uh she died miss Goro. she was so much how do you know everybody name and they can't speak english i see i want to meet them people and ask them hey my friend rob was in class with y'all how was that experience you talking about they, rob? They Nick like, rob roberto i remember I roberto i remember yes. roberto like Roberto's tall, that you, yeah. I mean, factor in them kids' life, bro. Like you help the angry, them. angry Roberto. <laughs> he he caliente. He caliente. <laughs> muy en fuego. Muy en fuego. <laughs> muy <laughs> aggressive, <laughs> bro. Y'all are not bilingual for sure out here. Y'all are really ill loco in the probation. Y'all sound like me talking about Aunt Colombian kids, what they speak. Because no, y'all are. Hey, man. Bro. No, we just having fun. So all my husband. Hey, 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 G, that <coughs> dude had a question we were talking about. Rob was giving his story. That's a really good question. Because I had a, I went to my son's school after this whole incident thing, right? About a month ago. And the, the the principal, we sat down with the principal because my wife used to work there. She cool. She she like real familiar with us. So we sit and talk now. And uh, my son DJ is like me. Like he is very scatterbrained, and he goes from like this to that. But he get really really mad. I used to get really 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 mad. So the teacher said, I was like, man, you know, like he's too young for this, this and that. She was like, well, what about you? And I was like, oh, yeah, I do that right now. She's like, well, why don't you, why, what makes you think, like, he wouldn't have those same things? And that made, and when Mr. Dude said that, like, it kind of made me think. So what, what's something y'all kids do that you know damn well y'all did that you still be mad at? Well, my oldest, my oldest son don't know how to shut up. Like, as a kid, I always got in trouble because I didn't know when to shut up, right? Like, you know how yeah. your mama and daddy will tell you, like, all right, that's enough. And you just got to say something under your breath <laughs> or you got to walk away and be like, man, I was just saying. Like, Nick Naysell, shut up. So he get that from me earnestly. And my middle son, the defiance of authority. Like, I'm taller than everybody. I'm bigger than everybody. I don't have Ooh. to listen to you. Like. So I be having to like rough him up sometimes because I know that 
That's, hey, that's the one. Get, that's the one. Piss DJ off at the event. Remember, he wouldn't give DJ. I mean, he wouldn't give uh, DJ. He wouldn't give my son a, uh, my media thing. Oh yeah. <laughs> When yeah, he first yeah. went over there, DJ was pissed, boy. He said, man, the boy said, I can't get it. And I was like, well, tell them their dad said it. Like, that's their dad right there. He walked back over there. He was so mad. He walked over there. He was so <laughs> He was like, man, the boy said I couldn't get it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I know them I know them two for sure. Them, them two for sure. Bro, they do not. Do that. Know, what 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 Grayson do? Do that. Grayson got the, like, and I had I had to realize it. Like when when something don't compute up here, he'll he'll right, and that's me. Cause like when I hear shit that don't make sense, and I have ran it through my brain a couple of times, and I'd be like, huh? He Grayson will just he don't know how to like use all his words yet, so he'll be like. Oh man, and I'd be like, All right, what's going on? <laughs> Well, I kind of wanted to go outside today. Well, did you say that? No, well, then how am I supposed to know? Well, you right, right? So, when he it when things don't compute for us, you see it on our face, bro. Like, and I could see it on Grayson's face from a mile. Grayson could be on the other side of the gym. Like, perfect example this weekend when my passcode come on my phone because I will never give it to him. Like I could tell Come when on, shit get, get wrong because he'll he'll start looking at me from across the gym wherever he's sitting, and I'd mm. be like, either he got to go to the restroom or the phone lock. But <laughs> it's all on his face. Like oh, mm -hmm. like like that day we all went and ate, and he looking at y'all like I eat like this all the time. What y'all talking about? <laughs> like y'all don't eat like this all the time. I eat like this all the time. <laughs> Grayson proceeds to eat half a piece out here, half 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 shrimp fried right? It'd be here. So that's us. G Day. Ooh, pick GG. Cause cause you and GG got more similarities. We do. I mean little drift don't not so much. Um, no. <laughs> he like your mom. Um none, she just violent. Sneaky and violent, man. <laughs> How she be ready, to be, be ready to be flexed up out here. Like, that's G Day Jr. Yeah, she's sneaky and violent. Like, don't, won't, won't let you know she's mad at you. Just still off on, like. Yeah, yeah man. <clears throat> yeah, man. That's it, man. Well, that's a good question, though. Man, you see what Odyssey said in the comments? She said some lady was trying to squabble the, the dude at the table at Sloan of the mm -mm. <laughs> Man, Jacoby, get out of here, man. <laughs> Jacoby, it's our job Jacoby, to offend you. Man, Jacoby, Jacoby you, you, you do got some Hispanic traits. That's the silly thing. Oh, hey man, hold on, man. No, I can't laugh at that, bro. That's no you say you got some Hispanic what? He got a, he said you do got some Hispanic traits in you. Yeah. <laughs> you like you know the, you know the, you know when you be in the club and them little dudes that be coming picking them. <laughs> you go and picking them, picking them cups up, and you be like, yeah. <laughs> You <laughs> stupid. You got a little, you got a little ass check in you, man. Hey, Jacoby, check. you see, I'm not laughing. I see you <laughs> stuck there at the zoo for work, sir, boss, sir. Uh, you know, I'm hey, here. You come work? He work at the zoo? Ah, oh, chill out. <laughs> <laughs> I've never met anybody work at the zoo, swear to God. You know we don't work at the zoo, bro. He works no, for what's man, that? Man, no, he doing like events and no. stuff. You can't go. You can't go to Turks and Caicos and Sandro. You Pink. ain't lying. He might own the zoo. Yeah, you can't go to Turks and Caicos in the middle of the week. Kobe, Kobe the, the esteemed leader of the Epilepsy Foundation. And oh he wow! Does great work for the kids and anybody that 
that hired me, you know, I'm not going to turn sides on them. So forget what y'all said about my good man, Jacoby. And, and, man. and, and what y'all just two slugs at each other about baseball like a week and a half ago? Fuck the Yankees. Fuck the Yankees. Yeah, y'all sure were. Ah. Hey, all the way. Hey, all the way. You know what, though? I ain't going to cap, though. The Astros kind of made me mad because I was like, okay, we could drop one. We could drop two. Oh, and then they dropped the whole Astros, series. Bro. And I was like, oh, okay. Oh, oh, my God. Man. Oh, are you a Texan fan? Yes. Yes. Yes, I am. Thanks Should've Thanks known. for asking. I appreciate that. Should've Y'all know known. who that is? Who is that, OJ? <laughs> is that OJ? It look like OJ. Oh, no, no. That's the. That's the I, can't, I can't. That's the, the, that's the new manager of the Astros. The oh, oh, oh hey, he's doing a terrible job right there. I'm telling D-Dye, you. D can you please tell D Day that that one Joe Gleason that you put on the camera last week at the McDonald's? <laughs> um, that that old the white dude. He gonna talk about what's up, Joe Gleason? I said, man, that ain't no damn Joe Gleason, man. No, that wasn't. Hey, I thought it was my guy Joe, man. <laughs> hey, up, Joe? hey, that was the director of, of events for Adidas, and I just, uh, I'm, you, you, you know what I'm nah, yeah, yeah. Hey, sure. you know, Dita, I got some socks. I got some socks for twenty five. You trying to get down some McDonald's socks for twenty five? You know what, G Day? Before we <laughs> go. I need you to set aside. Like, boys just saluted me to show like, right, boys just saluted like me to six, show because I got the sides. I'm trying to get off six the Six to seven minutes for, for something oh that I, I got behind the scenes that I would like to share with everybody. Man, Oz, we appreciate you for hopping on, man. man no, for sure. You. Um, having me. I appreciate uh, come back. Having you, just a back, a back quick, quick story, man. So you went to Westfield High School, correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Class Tell everybody nine. what team you was on, man. Man, I was on. I was. I went to Westfield during the time of uh, the Chris Hagen, uh, Brandon Dyson, uh, Pierre Beasley, yeah, Albert Turley. Albert Turley. Uh, yeah, I was on that team. I didn't get no burn, but I, I was. There. I got a question, Oz, before you go on. How did you feel when Jacoby and Brown dropped that fifty ball on y'all this Saturday? Hey, yeah, I'm gonna holler at y'all. Y'all, y'all be good, bro. <laughs> hey, I appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all. Love, hey, love, you was at Westfield. love. Appreciate y'all. Love. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was there with Ray. He was he before me though, right? Before me, yeah. yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Uh huh. That's how me and Ray know each other. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Yes, gotcha. My bad, eyes, bro. Yeah, bro. I don't even know why you on that type of time. I was bro. in the building. I was in the building <laughs> for that. It, it, it was a nasty fifty ball too. I'm talking about half quarters. Yeah, bro. Like, it, it was nasty. Yeah, it was I, nasty, I don't want to relive that. I appreciate that. <laughs> I nah, appreciate man. You, uh, plug your show one more time, man, for the people. Hey, man, man breakdown, hey, bros. I definitely YouTube. need to go tune in. Breakdown, bros, on YouTube. We breaking down everything from high school basketball to the college to NBA to funny animal videos I see on YouTube. Anything that I find interesting, we break it down from music to to culture to the news, whatever. To food. We, hey, y'all had food. When y'all yeah, we be on road, food too. When y'all did the road, the let me bring. It. It the made rose. me bring on here rose. Yo, that's where I got rose? the idea from. Like, who had the best? Oh, we did a, we did, we did a, we did a. Oh, rose. What I thought you? Yeah, said. we did a, we did a, uh, we did a like, thing. Yo, yeah. <laughs> Hey, wrap this up, bro. Yo. Yo, we, got, oh, we, got a, we got a we got a we got a it's just Nick uh, King though it's just him everybody else was good <laughs> <laughs> hey 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 and then hey. say I'm the problem coach us it's the problem the beats the beats the beat. they they I don't know <laughs> he gonna blame it on the earphone that's wild so we you we talking about the dinner roll dinner yeah, roll yes. yes I should have put the white you, dinner. Oh, you got you got you got you got lost you got lost cheddar bay biscuits you got you got cheddar's uh you got cheddar's uh croissants Croissant? and then you got uh Texas Roadhouse roll roadhouse rolls which one are you going with Texas Roadhouse I'm going I I'm I'm I ain't gonna lie I might have to take some cheddar bays cheddar bay cheddar bay cheddar bay for sure cheddar bay I got, I got roll roll in the in the chat 
That bread that fuck up the child is scrum diddly umptious. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I ain't even that rich yet, my boy. Yeah, yeah, no, no, it is. No, that 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 bread is off the chain. But that bread is good. With, with the cheese, with with the little, with, with the. Yes, I know, I know. It entered the chat, didn't it? It it entered. Hey, oh, it 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 y'all had some about side dishes too, right? Is is red beans and rice? Is red beans and rice a side dish or a main dish? Talk to me. It depends on where you from. Yeah, if you from the south, it's a main, it's, it's a main dish in Louisiana. Somebody it's told me Texas in Texas it's a side because we we would eat red beans and rice with fried chicken with cornbread. Chicken. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. yeah. Somebody told me Beach. it's a side until you throw the sausage and the meat and stuff in there. Then that's what make it a, a main dish. But but in Louisiana, that's what they have in it. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Like you put the so zoom, I, like, I, like like Mr. Dude. So you put the Zumos in there. It's a main dish. Hey, no, no. What hotel? Not no, some people, people uh, spaghetti is a main <laughs> dish. They, they don't eat no zoomers. They don't eat no zoomers. <laughs> <don't eat> no <laughs> <laughs> boy, you <laughs> turn your back on the hood. You <laughs> say Facebook go turn on you, boy. All right, Peter Pokey, man. Hey man, hey look, I right, hey, hey look, I appreciate y'all for having me. Y'all come by, st uh, stop by the breakdown, hey, I just bros. Subscribe you to y'all channel too, bro. Yeah man, come stop by, check us yeah. out, man. I appreciate it, man. So hold on, I was, before you go, spaghetti, main dish or side dish? Mmm, and had What? That's argument. silly. That's, that's a, a main that's dish. Main dish, for sure. main dish. That's a main dish for sure. Just a side dish. Some people eat it out of what? They eat with like, what? At place they put they put spaghetti like catfish. And they'll have spaghetti as the sides. Well, you nah, just got two main dishes. dishes. You got yeah, two. That's not like you got two. Yeah, that's you got not two like you got two. a. That's a fat. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Plate. yeah <laughs> you did. <laughs> boy, yeah. you hungry, boy? That's yeah, that's a, that's, I, yeah, that's a lot bro. of food, big dog. Yeah, that's a lot. Hey, all right, hold on. Since we on the subject, ranch on spaghetti. Nah, I'm bro. gone, bro. I'm gone, bro. I'm out. Definitely no, business. I've never had ranch on those for No way. I no don't go I don't it. Go. I've <laughs> even dated some women who have, and they swear by no. it. Like, don't and they not get ranch on spaghetti. Y'all yes. trying to close the door and all that on me? Listen, some ranch, <laughs> some Hidden Valley on your spaghetti. No, just, no. just try it. No, it ain't for me, time. but I ain't, I ain't going to knock the ones who do it. Just it's try really, it one more time, and I got woman craving that you ain't, you ain't steered me wrong yet, King. I tried, man. I haven't steered you wrong yet. Just try one you time. You put me on the sweet and spicy one. at Whataburger, and I'm stuck. Sweet. Oh, Come on. I'm coming, Come on, I'm, I'm coming down. straight to you, D King. If that shit nasty, I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yo, that's okay. I can take it. Listen, if I it wouldn't if hey, uh, you gotta walk up to the spread with some ranch, like that takes <laughs> Yeah, Yo, no, no did it. <laughs> hey man, no, no did Oz, before you leave, I got the socks for twenty five. Now I got the socks, man. I got, I got the socks for twenty five. Look at the face, Oz. Hey, hey, hold on, hold on. Hey man, man look what Odyssey for the twenty five, bro. Odyssey out of pocket. <laughs> Please say just mix all this shit together, man. Oh, man, come you, back bro. every time, man. Come I back. appreciate y'all. Every time, T Cat. No, no, you pick me, T Cat. I'm like, he out of pocket, bro. 2024. Oh, that's hard. Oh, what that's is it? That's hard. a pillow. It's a pillow. They gave us the media package, bro. Like, oh, that's hard. I appreciate. I appreciate. I appreciate your sock. Like we got free friends and family shoes. What you got? Man. What shoes y'all got? What you got? Oh, you he got, got the ones. I know you got the eighty ones. Come oh, on, he better not have them. D All right, he got the eighty ones. I know he got the eighty ones. I know it. Y'all eat full pork sandwiches? Oh, full pork. Yeah, yeah. Come on, yeah. Full pork. Yeah. 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 Coleslaw on pork pork sandwich. Nah, I don't eat coleslaw. Period. I'm oh, a soccer so. guy, and Adidas has an elite soccer program, so I got the. Oh, you got some samba okay. right. with right. the with right. the mm. That's calm. That's calm. I like that. Yeah. I got the same joint. I got the same yeah. ones like I got last year. I don't know where. <coughs> Damn, my closet, but I just got the great pair. 
Yeah, the blue right. is one. Right. I wish I got some nice shoes. So you do. Dre, I got Dre, I got some. Dre, I got some for you. We got the tote. Hell no, nah, Cal. Really what is that? Is that, is that, is that a what is that? A grill. A grill. Oh. Rob, that's not hard. Yeah, 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 I like oh, that. Oh, that's not hard. Sugar and spaghetti, hell no. Oh, that's that you talking about, uh, D King. Hey, G Day, I got, I got, uh, G Dot, I got, I got a trade for you. I don't know. I got some nasty. Yes, you do. Hold on. Watch, watch this. Hey, that shirt that you're trying to show, yeah, show the back of it again because it's going in the other side. Yeah, that's hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But did you get. Did, did you get the cool? I don't like how they out. Oh, you can't even see that joint. Hold on, back up some. I came my chair. <laughs> Y'all boys got it, bro. Yeah, hey, man. Bro. Where, 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 a straw from a McDonald's cup. Come on, bro. <laughs> I, uh, man, you know I do. I do the setup. I do the setup thing. Well, the past two years when it's here, so no, you no, give me a whole bunch of like, stuff. Yeah, bro. That's 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 a down south classic right there, bro. Oh, without oh, a yeah, doubt. That's, that, yeah. that's a Sam. That's a Sam Mint right there. Oh, yeah, man, bro. boy. That thing hit every time. That's gonna hit every time, Chill. dog. Go to. Hey, it don't, hey. and it really don't matter. Yeah, did y'all used to eat the pencil sausages, like the the, the skinny joint paws? My, my grandma used to call them pencil sausages. Yeah, you know but that was, for that, that was for breakfast. That wasn't that wasn't for the no and no because we used to put two on the on the bread. We used bread, to put them yeah. on the grill. Yeah. I mean, in, in the skillet, and then we used to put two on the bread with the mustard. Yeah, we need we we need to do that. I mean that, that that's what we did with the mustard. He said we need to do I don't that. put <laughs> Yeah, we ain't put No, nah, no, nah, we ain't put shit on nothing, bro. We ain't do that. Yeah, no. Nah. Shit on all that. Nah, yeah, nah, we ain't salt is no nah, salt and pepper go on grease. Salt pepper butter, not sugar. Butter. Now me and my girl <laughs> had this argument all the time, bro. All the time, though. And she's like she was like, well, how you know? I tried it. I don't like it. Well, what if mine tastes bro. like, babe, like, you might can make really good grits and sugar, but I don't like sugar on my grits. We ain't like, doing the sugar, you know, you know how deep somebody in the trenches been when they get to talking about putting sugar on the grits? Like, <laughs> I don't dish it. I don't dish it, but I know I know you mm -hmm. used to drink your, your water out of mason jars in the summer, though. Like no. I definitely, I definitely I, know it's a couple of butter, butter, butter containers in your house. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna give you one. I'm gonna give you one better. I come from, I come from my granny house where we used to drink water out of out of the picante glasses. We used to clean the picante uh salsa glasses out. We used to drink water. Out <laughs> hey, of that. Oh, any bro, anything. We used to drink anything, water out bro. Anything. It ain't like water, water was much water older holes, in them glasses than anything. Much better in them glasses. Bro, the Gatorade was better in the glass bottle too. Oh, yeah. yeah, oh absolutely, it was different. No additives. Like, it's some no, that, that apple juice. Remember that apple juice that came Wait, in, in the glass bottle? What is it called? Mark, <laughs> Mark, Mark, Martini, Mark, Mark, Martinelli. Yeah. Martinelli. Yeah. Martinelli. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's the best best apple juice ever, bro. Fire! I best ain't holding apple it. juice ever. I'm telling you, bro. That, it's, a, it's just something about them glass containers, dog. They they just they just hit different. And it's on the bottom, dog. I've never eaten a Vienna sauce. So. That's 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 mm. a, that, that's a little too low budget for me. Way, way, way too low budget. I just see talking about some he used to be in the VIP room with fake pet with in the hospitality room with fake VIP passes. Man, Queda, <laughs> man, straight straight out of it, man. After hooping all day, that that what I do, bro. No, I think you green know, water. No whole shirt be all wet. You don't care. That green water yeah. hose, bro. That, yeah. That's before they start putting lead in that water. Yeah, that water, that water hit. Couldn't go back in the house, so you got to stay for the yeah. rest of the day. Out. Out. <laughs> ain't no, ain't no coming in and out. But you had to, you, 
you, you had to let the water run for a few seconds first. So yeah. hot water can get out yeah. the hose. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and that's when you drink, yeah. That's yeah. all the water yeah. that's yeah. still in the hose. You got to let that water out because it's been outside. Yeah, it's been outside sure. for yeah. a minute. See, yeah, but I'm that's how you had to be smart as a kid. <clears throat> That little contaminated water, go ahead, get out the hole. <laughs> we already know. We already knew. If somebody in front of you taking all day, you'd be like, dang, man, like, come on, bro. Come come on. On. Now, now, now that's when you squeeze it. Now you gotta you gotta squeeze <laughs> that joint so it stops. And they be like, man, come on, man. Like, no, nah, bro, you Dre is hog head cheese. cheese. Dre is hog head cheese. Oh, oh, head I, cheese. Ain't never, I ain't never we, did that either. Yeah, we we we, 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 we can't we can't be doing that. Hey, I, I see this is the last thing. And and then, and then, and then, and then, I, I ain't gonna say that. Hardhead cheese and summer sausage. Now I'm not a big cheese fan, hardhead cheese fan no more. But going to Bible study, it's not even some grapes, some salami, and some hardhead cheese and some crackers. Yeah, hardhead hey, cheese, not even cheese though. <laughs> Why well, better we cut it out of the cheese? The king that we bring. Oh, I know. Eat it, man. That's that. That was the scary part. What made me stop? <laughs> I, like Vienna sausages. My granny eat Vienna sausages to this day. Like my granny, ninety four. Her birthday was the other day, right? Ninety four. She eat Vienna. You wouldn't catch me dead eating a Vienna nut. I they ain't never ate a Vienna sausage. I don't know what they taste like. I ain't never. They don't even them. come and be when you smell that liquid when they open it. I always no, smell like no, 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 no. Like, you, know like never oh. you know what smell like that? Spam, bro. I, I never ate that. I never ate spam. Ate oh, I, never ate spam. Oh, I, I definitely did. Spam. I definitely Ooh, did. Some spam. I did some spam. I done had a couple of spam. Not my proudest moment. Dre, the mm -hmm. old Burks before the new family took it over. The old Burks in the early nineties to the mid nineties. Yes, sir. Single couldn't mess with them. Single had the consistency, but Burks from our childhood odds, like we. <laughs> <laughs> queen of baby had a Hey, Queen, I ain't never heard <laughs> you say nothing wild in all your time. What, no. <laughs> what, what the world? Delete that ASAP. Barbecue sauce and jelly don't go on nothing together. Oh, that's that's struggling on a whole new level. <laughs> I, I ain't never heard of struggle like that. Nah, low key, like people they make like they make when they make the little like, meatballs for baby the meatballs, showers. They put it in jelly. It yeah, in jelly. that's what it's that's what it is. You lying? The baby the show stuff. meatballs got yeah. jelly. <laughs> yep, jelly and, and, and barbecue sauce. So jelly so and barbecue sauce. So. So. Hey, them baby shower meatballs undefeated. Though. I ain't gonna Elite. lie. I mean, one of y'all yeah. have baby. Elite. Yeah, that, that's, yeah, that's what they make them. Hey, oh. hey I, I heard Ocho Cinco talk about this. And it, it might just be a South thing. But well, y'all did the five second rule, right? Like yeah. some fall on the floor. Yeah. Y'all did that, Jeter? Yeah, yeah, like when you was a kid. Oh, y'all don't do that now? I still do it. Like, you oh. pick it up <laughs> if it ain't been on. Odyssey, the way you spell Vienna in that comment section lets me know you in a different part of the trenches I ain't never trying to see. Like, <laughs> and, the and there's nothing wrong Good with the way you spelled it because that's Queen how much really pronounce it. Vienna. My granny's an English teacher. I'll be like, what an I? What an I? You ain't pronounce nothing like that. Like, she made it a gourmet. This country is hell. <laughs> Odyssey, bro. Like, we don't know nothing about that, bro. What the no. hell is a Jack Mac? Jack Mac? <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Man, I got to go, bro. <laughs> all right, all right, bro. Right, right, right. I'm going to holler at y'all, bro. Run the, all right, all right, all right. Run the, the interview, bro. Like, because, oh, wow. A Jack Mac? I don't even want to know. What is a Jack Mac patty? I don't even want to know. Welcome to Houston, Texas. Uh -huh. Here go the internet. Out oh, here messing up. We're here for the 2024 McDonald's All American Game. We're in the Galleria in Houston, Texas. Let's see what they got to offer for us. With the night, so y'all. Beautiful JW Marriott in the Galleria in Houston. Let's walk around and see what they got set up for the kids. Hey, if you was in that hallway that weekend, a lot of a lot of moves being made. 
Well, they played, like they said, at the Western. JW Marriott. Yeah. JW, okay. They Across the street. Yeah. Hey, man, next time we got to open with this. We can't do this at the end of the show, man. Oh, uh, no. Nah. All the heat I done had, we, we did it at the right time, right? <laughs> can't, can't start the show with the... My camera girl, Ashley, did an awesome job. She ain't uh, never had a camera before, but we made it work. Signage going on. Come check out the stairs. Hey, D-Lay, look at that lightning stairs. control. You see it? The high, the high nutrient meals for you, because when you're an athlete, you got to get all the protein and all that good stuff in your body. And then this is where the kids pick up their gear. And as you see, somebody already in the line, they're picking up, you know, backpacks, shoes, those new Ant Mans that drop. Those are pretty sick. And then you got the meal. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Here you have other interactive things for the students and the athletes. Uh, build your brand workshop, teaching the kids how to build their brand successfully on and off the court. And then you got the media center where we picked up our credentials. And uh, I'm kind of excited because uh, usually I sneak in the back door, but mine actually got my name on it. Shout out Baller's Life. We'll head down here towards the media center. So this so was about nine in the special, morning. And you got the credentials. A lot of kids were not even in town. To get your credentials for practice, the dunk contest, and all the other nice <laughs> that McDonald's has for you. We're not going to go in here because it's super top secret. Sure they're, they're getting everything together. Uh, but we really just wanted to show you what it was like to be at the McDonald's All-American Games in Houston, Texas. So now we're in the family lounge with the players, mother, father, sister, brother, siblings. They can come back, chill out, relax. You know, they could come play some connect four, some man collar. They're going to have an Easter egg hunt. You know, they got the cool promo materials. The Ronald McDon McDon McDonald House is really a, a great dope spot. Um, Shout out. They got tic-tac-toe. It's really a cool installation. You know, if you really got your not really that you'd good at it. You made that on the first try that would be crazy. A little beer in Wasn't English. drunk enough. That's the sport you gotta be drunk to have the good equilibrium in the back. Yeah, we played that at our family yeah. reunion and I was out of there, but I won. <laughs> See? <clears throat> it's it's something <laughs> And the crazy part is they had just finished uh, setting all this hall. up before we Which walked really through. Isn't a salon hall. You got Connect Four. You got NBA Jam. NBA Jam is really special to me because that's something I played as a kid. You got all the free Powerade you could drink. I drank all Powerade. the free Powerade I could handle. As you should. And then, you know, if you want to get your fours gone, you could be paddle balling. I was just trying to all the way from ping pong team. Get you some shots up before the big game out here. Let's see if I make one. Probably not. That's why I hold the camera instead of. Oh, oh, but I got that one. And then you got card game. <laughs> Dre is stupid. <laughs> no, I, but I was thinking that too. It's a great experience. If you're a kid that's lucky to be here, out of 48 kids, you should really take this this and, and soak it up. You've been with the Baller Plug, with Baller's Life, you locked in. She definitely would have. Last oh. but not least, we got oh, the gear section. No, oh, no, no, no. They, they just kept opening up right stuff, now. and everything else was like just added on to it. And then that's get you a hoodie with a grill on it. Get you a black tee. It's all good. Please have fun in Houston. Hit us in the comments. Tell us what you like about the McDonald's All American Experience. That's dope, man. That was dope.
I just I got a question. Oh, just some tidbits that other people didn't get to see. That's all. No Did problem. you hear anything about like them bringing bringing it back to Houston again next year? They gonna put. I mean, you can't put it in the private chat if you want. Oh, I, I know where it's gonna be, and and they talked about uh fairness, and then mm. had his run. So shit. It'll they, be they, they only, in Chicago they, for seven years. They only had it back in Houston because of something. Cause they had COVID. something going. It was supposed to go. No, it was supposed to go in Brooklyn this year. Oh, but they uh they brought it back to Houston because of something happened. Some event or something happened that they Bro, couldn't, you they at? couldn't have it back. In talking and not be on. Yeah, camera, Nick, Nick, you I'm right here in front happened. of you guys. I'm right you here. Said Nicki Minaj. Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, she, she had, had she had Madison Barclays all all this yeah. all this weekend. It was it was yeah that that that's what they said. That was like yeah. they were gonna come back, but something happened. It was and she to be sold out all shows. You know, she did. Yes, yeah, yeah, she, she did. I'm on, bro. Yeah, I didn't know people were still rocking with her. Like I really, bro, I ain't trying to be She got her core know. fans from when she had that that, that run from. Two what it was 2010 to whenever. Yeah, the Barbies. Yeah, bro. Like she got a she got a strong fan base, bro. Yeah, she used man. to be legit, dog. She used to be the real deal. <clears throat> Till Safari stopped writing her rap. He don't need to write his own. Remember with Charlamagne? He was on that free <laughs> nah, that ain't it. <laughs> that ain't it. <laughs> Nah, nah, he killed him on the Breakfast Club. <laughs> bro, destroyed him. Destroyed him. Um, what I did find the words. What I did find interesting though, was, um, and you and when I go to events, you know, I kind of ask people like, you know, how when you go to Wooden in Dallas, they they really they really really like being in Houston. When you talk to the parents, the Galleria being across the street, that's uh, that's the best thing for, like, you know, so when we do get an opportunity to hold events like this, you know, don't think, um, you know. I saw a kid from the McDonald's game walking in the Galleria last Tuesday, the day of the game, like early in the day. Yeah. yeah I still did. We shot a uh, we shot an NIL shoot in between uh, media day. Nah, I don't have no final words, man. Just about to watch the second half of this game. Me too. Yeah. Y'all be easy, brothers. Yes, sir. King, no words. Go kill. Go kill. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I got, dog. That's all yeah, I got. I want to eat my peanut butter. I want to eat my peanut butter and banana sandwich, man. So, hey, boy, get out them boys in our ill rations. We need some <laughs> money. Hey, G-Dog.